Welcome back to It's All Bad. I'm Keith. What up? I'm Danny. Hey, what's up? I'm Reno. Hey, guys. Gabby. Gabby Lamb. Here we Woo! are. Get with the program. Here we Gabby are. Gabby Lamb. <laughs> Whoa. Thank you so much for coming on, Gabby. It means the world to us, really. Keith, thank you guys for having me. Right really, on. truly so cool to be here. You want to know the backstory of why I was like, I was like, I hit up of how Gabby got here? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right, so I hit up Madison, and I go, hey, Madison, Mad Dog, our guest from last season. Uh, and Because uh, I saw you guys got matching butterfly tattoos, We did, right? yeah. yeah. And I was like, hey. But, butthole flies. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and they had the crazy. On our buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they had the crazy town fucking song playing over the thing. And I was like, oh, this is great. I was like, Gabby got stories? And she was like, Gabby Lamb? I was like, it's just like yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, you got to bring her on. So here you are. Hell so yeah. So shout out Mad right Dog. On, right I love on. that. Yeah. Madison, Mad- <laughs> yeah. yeah. You had her on the podcast? Yeah. Uh-huh. Love that. Mm-hmm. Love her. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's worth mentioning for sure that uh, Gabby is one half of the podcast or one third of the podcast Tea Time mm-hmm. with Gabby Lamb and Harper Hyphen Rose Drummond. Harper right? Hyphen Rose Drummond. <laughs> right? yeah. Which I was, when I, when I, I, I read the name though on the pod, I'm like, maybe I met her summering off the coast of Cape Cod at some point <laughs> or possibly Montauk. I wasn't sure. But <laughs> anyway, either way, I totally got hooked on listening to the pod and it was so cool. And it's really sweet because I feel like it is, it is a pretty feminine podcast so it's cool to see that yeah a rough rough and tough alpha. man yeah. alpha <laughs> big alpha a cis, a yeah. cis yeah. gender yeah. male cis alpha <laughs> strong man you're, you're i'm sure your ultimate goal was to make sure tea time was <laughs> listened to by somebody from fucking by alpha man corona yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. What are the comments? Yeah. <laughs> yeah and we finally made it yeah. gabby's like we got hollywood sewn up what's going on in the inland empire <laughs> <laughs> The inland. Uh, are you from Corona? Yeah. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. I what? know. That's why I'm banging a Silver Lake hoodie. I'm like trying to fucking really, <laughs> trying to forget. you know what I mean? Perpetrating. Like, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I mean, it's so hilarious and so super funny. And on the way in, I was listening to the most recent app because I got a little notification that the new episode dropped. You're a fan. I guess, wow. right? The algorithm kind of. Well, I mean, look, I'm a dad. I got kids, but I still try to like stay in tune and in touch with what's going on. So I left the family Super Bowl party to listen to drop time. the family <laughs> off. And I'm like, OK, I, I somehow or another it came up and I'm listening to it on the way in. And I definitely wanted to, like, you know, obviously talk about all the crazy stuff, all the poops that are taken in the studio and all the crazy stuff that's talked about. Right. There's a lot of butt talk on the pod. And that's probably mostly me. Uh, (laughs) I think it's, yeah. It's kind of like you clowning, which I think is fucking hilarious. Like, everybody loves potty jokes fart jokes dick you'd jokes, think well right? here's the thing i i peaked emotionally at seven so that's right that's where i'm at i am stunted and i'm the only one who but thinks. in this new episode you're like i'm in a relationship i'm not trying to be poopy farty whatever right yeah and i was like okay cool i won't talk about shit and the, the whatever but then it totally digressed super quickly <laughs> and then i the fart pod. and then i started farting i think that's kind of what myself. happened yeah, for sure. yeah i love it be you you're, you're you. a new person every you. minute you know totally. who i was two minutes ago is not who i am right we're, now <laughs> we're, we're pluralists is what we are, yeah, right? we are. you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> Pluralist. Have you ever had a shit in public? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where? Um, so, uh, well, one of my favorites. So I uh, at a funeral, my <laughs> ex-boyfriend died. It's fine. He's, he's, <laughs> he's been dead like 10 years. He's like yeah. way dead. But <laughs> he, I didn't want to poop at his house. The funeral was at his house, and it was small, a small house. And one bathroom, one bathroom. There was a lot of people at this funeral. And I was like, uh, I'm not going to go blow up this toilet, right? <laughs> so what did I do? Starbucks. Went into his front yard. Close. <laughs> went, into his front, went to the neighbor's house. So his front yard, and I was like, I'll just go next door. Shit in their yard. No. Were you loaded? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you bet. <laughs> and then I was like, and then I shit, and I was like, all right, I'm out of here. And I started driving home. I'm wasted. And the cop pulls me over, and I was like, a friend just died. And he was like, go on home and I was like hell yeah <laughs> really it was a day Miss, of passes yeah. it was a day yeah. of passes that day yeah right? missed that DUI Ooh. ended up getting another one a couple <laughs> months later but that was was that in San Diego that was in San Diego yeah what was it like growing up there I mean cause I 
I feel like it's pretty conservative and you're not. I didn't realize it was conservative until I left. I didn't either. Right? It's an yeah. interesting thing. And I went there a lot in the 80s. You yeah. Know, no. Well, and I grew up in Oceanside, so it's right next to Camp oh, Pendleton. Oh, right. But I, I mean, what I grew up in was like a sub. I mean, it was Ocean like, Crime. Oh, ocean Crime, don't never, they call it never that? Never heard that. You never heard Ocean Crime? No, but that's really what it, you know, it was a, it's a dirty little fucking beach no. city. So. You, know, you know who was from there? Do you remember Sean Frederick from CRLA? No. Do you know Sean Frederick? I don't know. Yeah. Robbie from there, right? Robbie Carp, oh, too. Oh, we'll yeah. bleep the last names yeah. before the pod drops. I don't know any of these people. Yeah. Well, we're not you bad. Know who else? You know who lives there now is Narcan Nate, who'll be at the Arthur. <laughs> oh, thing. shit. Yeah. Narcan Nate. Narcan Nate, who you're going to meet Thursday at Stories. Yeah, yeah. Gabby yeah. will be on the live show. I'm yeah. excited for that. Oh, it's going to be I'm great. I'm excited that you're having me on that. Yeah, we're stoked. Two times in a week? <laughs> yeah. Woo. It's only you and who else? And Patrick. Patrick, yeah. Who you love. And by love. the time this airs, the live show will already have passed. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah. So okay, it's, cool. So thanks for being on the live show. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. I love that. That was fucking, oh, man. I oh, can't right, believe right. you're We're back again. Narcan like Nate, yeah. he was crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, but funny story. You know, Nar we had Narcan Nate when we did it live at the Echoplex, and he gave out Narcan to everyone. True That's story. Really cool. But that when that kid OD'd a few months ago at in the Alvarado. bathroom at Alvarado, the reason he lived is a bunch of people had shit in their car that Nate came. No the, fucking yeah. way. No, uh -huh. They narcaned him six, six times. Yeah. Damn. Were you there when that happened? No, but I heard about yeah. it. Yeah. And then, and then he, the next week he showed, he walked up and took a 30-day check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he you was confused. It, yeah. And he thought it was, it was, uh, it was a it newcomer. Was a newcomer. Yeah. Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah. I, I feel like he's out again. Yeah. Maybe the Narcan kind of propelled him into another universe where he was like a month ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, maybe he did. <laughs> Who knows what's in that shit, right? Who knows? Wait, was it, was it fentanyl? Is that why? Yeah. yeah. Scary. Was he actually doing fentanyl or was it laced? Did no, he was fentanyl? doing fentanyl. He yeah. was actually yeah. doing fentanyl. Uh -huh. Most of the modern dope fiends are doing just straight fentanyl, yeah. right? Oh, I, mm -hmm. I, I still don't really understand how people die from it and then how people also use it. Yeah. It's it's bananas. I mean, we lost a really good friend that, yeah, it's like, you two. know, their loved we ones are like, two. he did, yeah. they're like, we had many. Her, their loved ones are like, he was doing what? Right. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Like, it's all over the fucking news. Anybody that has a set of fucking ears knows that that shit's like a death sentence. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Then how are people recreationally fucking doing it? Is it just because you have a tolerance? Well, what what I hear is, and I don't know, Danny, you, you guys might be able to speak to it a little bit more, but like all the people that we know that used to slam heroin all the time, they just smoke it off foil. It's so potent that it like they don't even need to fix it, right? Mm -hmm. I had a sponsee who was um, I was sponsoring this dude for a minute, and he's a seasoned dope fiend, like you know uh, Stephen. He was like a journeyman, a journeyman, journeyman. Yeah, <laughs> he had like two years went out, but I mean I've known him for eighteen years. He's been a dope fiend the whole time. He went out, and he goes, and he came back, and I was like, "How are you doing?" You know, he's like, "Fuck, man." He goes, "I." I I did that fentanyl. He goes, I was shooting dope. He goes, and I went to the connection because he had just relapsed. He was shooting dope, and he said he went to the connection. And then the guy goes, I don't have any dope. All I got is fent. And he took it, but he told me, he goes, I didn't fire it because I knew it would kill me. Mm -hmm. So he smoked Whoa. it. He took one hit and dropped. Yeah, that's OD. what I've heard. Mm -hmm. He's alive, but heard. holy shit. He said one hit, and he was dusted. Also, it doesn't last as long, right, Dan? Yeah, it's got no feet. So it's like it'll get you really high, but not for long. And when it gets you really high... The, and that's why you see a lot of these, like, you know, uh, whatever, let's just call them, like, zombie people that are just out and about everywhere, you know, yeah. where, like, so what happens is it hits you so hard, and it doesn't last long, so you keep doing it, and it's cheaper, so you can get more of it for less, got it. but it doesn't last, like, it ain't got no feet, you know, yeah. so you do it, you smoke a little bit, you get really fucking high, you're drooling on yourself, passing out, whatever, so to, to counter that, People are doing a lot more amphetamines, and that's where all these like street fucking villages and all that, you know. All that's why Michael Jackson Thriller is what's fucking <laughs> happening on the streets of fucking Hollywood right now. Right. Yeah. That's fucking right. gnarly, man. I'm it's... glad I never got into. I never got into. I, no, it's not heroin. No heroin. No opiates. Me I didn't, either. I always liked uppers. I was. If you I, doing meth, right? No, but I'm. If I did, I. Fuck. I don't know if I would be bad. I don't know if I'd be sober. Not nowadays. You wouldn't. Mm -mm. Meth. I. If I had ever done meth, that would have been. It. It for me what were you doing uh coke oh fuck i was you know, coke drinking you know when when did you when did you start getting start getting loaded like 13 14 like all the rest of us I was 15 but i was i didn't like get start discovering 
my love for it until I was probably in my early twenties. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's when, and it, and then it like all kind of hit really fast and it was just like, all right. Da, 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 da. And then when I started stand up, it was just like off to the races. Right. Cause all you're doing is you're fucking out at clubs every night. Everybody's doing Coke. You're just doing they coke are, and right? drink so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I was doing so much Coke. It was just fun. You know, mm, yeah. this is what everybody does. So yeah, yeah. yeah that shit's super alluring and super like, you know, because Cocktail line, cocktail mm -hmm. line, cocktail line. Mm -hmm. You're just fucking, you, people go back to someone's house afterward and you're just like rocking out. You yeah. know what I mean? And at some point, you know what I mean? You just cross that invisible line where you're out of control and then people are like, oh, hey, man, you need to reel it in. You're like, what are you talking about? You're all doing the same shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. you know, it's just, yeah, it's, we all kind of have to negotiate our own relationship with fucking narcotics and alcohol. Yeah. And, yeah, it's tough, man. I mean, I've had to put the lab coat back on so many times to go about, go out there and see if I can do it right, you know? Right, yeah. Go back and do your research. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. How'd that work mm -hmm. out for you, Reno? Great. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I mean, jails, rehabs, <laughs> detoxes. Yeah. In the end, it was essentially kidney failure followed by staph infections. And Ooh. you know what I mean? It was Sexy. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stop, stop being handcuffs and shit. And then just got to, I mean, it just, you know, I talked to a lot of people that, you know, go back out when they're older and you just end up like, it's just so much smaller. You're just like, you take as much money as you have, buy as much drugs as you can, get a room or get to wherever you're going to be. Mm. And you just pump the shit in yourself That's until scary. you go nuts or drop. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just so dark and wild, yeah. you know? I thought, well, I went out over summer. I, I, uh, I just, I stopped going to program cause I was like, I fucking don't need it. I'm fine. Like I just won't drink. I won't do drugs. I'm fine. And then I was like, I'm going to start doing mushrooms because, like, you know, mushrooms is not, a, that's not a relapse, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. so I was like, it's fine. Everybody does mushrooms. It's and then I, it's a vegetable. Exactly. And then yeah. I'm like, you're a vegetarian. Vegetarian. <laughs> I was like, and I was like, whatever. I'm already on, you know, antidepressants. Mushrooms are probably better than pharmaceutical right, drugs. Right? right. So then you start just, and I was like, it's fine. But then I'm like going out every weekend and I'm like, well, I don't want to go out unless I'm, doing mushrooms so then i'm like asking my friends for mushrooms <laughs> i don't even like mushrooms, and that's the thing i never even liked them but i was yeah. just like it's organic so it's fine yeah. and then i was just like you know what and then like my, my ex-boyfriend had molly and i was like fuck it as long as it's not coke yeah. or you know booze i'll do Molly. and then i'm like sitting in gold diggers like gumming molly and then i'm like what am i <laughs> doing and then i remember like a couple of days after that i'm like in a at a park in the middle of the day everybody's doing molly and i'm doing molly and i'm like all right and it's like and then i'm like what am i fucking doing i don't want to be you know because i've always at a park in the middle of the at day at a park in the middle of the fucking day like in what part of town okay on the way to pasadena there's like a park on the side right by the freeway yes right I by the freeway about. is it a bad Highland park you've been there yeah. with me before yeah no, the it's one not a nice park no it's a small it's right there like when you're crossing it's Eagle dirty to it's Pasadena. a okay. dirty park yeah, yeah with no bathroom no bathroom and, I, and then i do go pee and shit in the bushes over there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you and you're like god damn it i'm back here <laughs> like, <laughs> and shit. it's crazy how it creeps Same up on results. you though same results and it's like but the whole thing i was like well as long as i'm not drinking and doing coke i'm fine and then it took me a little bit to admit to that being a relapse and i was like i guess that is well you know gabby's been friends with uh jude and two-tone for fucking a long time right? way oh, no before, shit. yeah for like 15 years yeah really? oh, no way. way before i got sober. Yeah. yeah i met them when i first moved to la yeah is that when alex was out or no i have no idea 15 no no it's not you never got loaded with him though right no but no, with, not with alex yeah but with with, with jude with jude I, <laughs> yeah uh. huh <laughs> wild guy we did i was doing i because i remember i went over to his house like wasted and he was like you want to do ghb and i was like sure i don't know what the fuck that is and then then we did GHB and that was that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, GHB is a motherfucker. We oh, had Jude on. Did you? Yeah, I mean, he's, because he's, you know, because he, he talks about that shit all he's the time. He's the wildest guy. He's incredible and he's fearless with that. Like, yeah. That shit scares me, the science drugs. GHB. Yeah, yeah, he's really into it. I do love him. He's a solid fucking dude. Yeah. yeah. We had Jude and we had Two Tone on. Two Tone was one of our first, was one of our yeah. very first guests. Yeah, he was one of the, he was my first guest on my podcast. Wow. Was he yeah. really the first one? <laughs> I think he was. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. That's rad. 
Well, two tone making the rounds at the fucking. He's fuck a good end. first. He's yeah. a good yeah. first. Yeah. He good is. First, yeah. He is. Oh. He's a great storyteller too. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I always hit him and tell him that, like, when I catch an episode of his podcast, he's like so articulate and just breaks it down. It's super funny. Yeah. That's great. It's a great story. He's also like from the gutter, like the rest of us. You know, he has. He's not college ed- educated. You know, he's like. Is he not? No. And he's really fucking smart. Yeah. You know? like a lot of people. I feel like a lot yeah. of alcoholics are, though. Yeah, I, I agree. A lot of people. I'm just like, oh, you're brilliant. Like, they're just brilliant. We're just like brilliant, uneducated yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> not me, but like most of the people are. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's really good at fronting. Yeah. Like, really uh, good at fronting. Because yeah. you have to. Yeah. What What's the most fucked up situation you've ever gotten yourself into getting loaded? See, now here's the issue because I, I I have imposter syndrome. I, it comes and goes, especially in the rooms, because like I, you hear people share the fucking crazy shit, and I don't. I I'm always like, I didn't go to rehab. I never shot meth into my asshole. Like I, right. for me, when I was like out there, I like the wild. I would just get fucked up and then fall asleep and like yeah. throw up on myself in a corner at a party and like that that's my fucking right yeah not, but it's not the same embarrassing thing embarrassing when you're at fucking somebody's wedding or <laughs> somebody you know what i mean or yeah your I grandma's mean, like, 50th or whatever yeah. but i mean i like i mean reno's done reno's definitely shot methamphetamine in his ass and so yeah. is danny <laughs> See? And hey, sometimes oh, i think i should go out oh, just so i can come back with a story bah, 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 bah. <laughs> but he has not shit in the front yard of a, we- of a funeral. Of a yeah. funeral, thing. Yet. So. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> yeah. 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 I literally, I literally, it was funny you were talking about taking shits earlier. I literally like, will use all nearly any public bathroom to take a shit. Like, you know, people oh, are like, yes. oh my God, I will not shit I'll there. shit anywhere. I'll shit, <laughs> anywhere. I'll shit, I'll shit here right now. <laughs> I, I don't care. It's so funny to me. People are like, I can't do it. I'm like, I'm fucking, tell me when. The only place is geeked is the beach when it's just like packed full of people and wet and sandy and you're just like, like cold ass toilet have you it's ever shit off. in the ocean I, no i've tried okay i did do it eventually but <laughs> my bottle is so clenched up yeah i kept never balls are that. so tight we're in, Kauai, <laughs> we're in Kauai and i had to lay cable and shit you know and i was like the water's <laughs> all cable. warm yeah. it's nice yeah i was like and i'm like fuck i'm like you know hawaii's been nice you to me shit in Kauai. <laughs> yeah but i was like i'm gonna leave him a cornback rattler in here you know and i'm like <laughs> i want <laughs> And I went out there, and my two friends are so fucking mad. They're like, dude, come on. And I'm like, dude, I'm just trying. But it is very difficult to push it out in the, in the ocean. Is it? Yeah. yeah uh, like the pressure or something. Wow. You know who's the master? You know who's mastered the art of it? Who? Todd. Oh, I believe so that. So much so that there's a name for, sorry for screaming, Dave. Uh, so much so that there's a name for, that they named, they coined a term for when they're out fucking surfing. And then no. when you drop a deuce, yeah. When you pull over your Speedo and you shit in the ocean, no. it's called a hot toddy. It's called a oh, hot toddy. Oh, yeah. Toddy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. What about when they had the body surfing? He's that. He's they, that, yeah. You remember yeah. when they, He's that they, prolific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they, had the, um, they had the body surfing contest at Manhattan Beach. Do you remember that? Yeah, a uh-huh. couple years ago, and so dorky. Like Callie, fucking Eric Baxter, Alexis, all uh, Todd, all of them went body surfing. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With, made, with no, your the body. champion. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But uh-huh. they made it. You had to have a team, and their team name was Scattered Goods. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> that's really funny. Hold, Scattered Goods. Hold on, hold on. Just so I really can understand, body surfing is literally just your body, and you're like in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. I. Your pet, you, 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 all right. If you want to get good at it, you get some fins, you yeah. know, so then you gotta, oh. you gotta go into the waves, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. actually the purest form, let, if, you know, it's if we're gonna be technical, yeah. it's the purest form of being in you touch like with the into ocean. It. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, I've been known to maybe get catch yeah, a wave or sure. two, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I, so, all right, so I started, I wanna, I've never surfed, I've never stood up on a surfboard, really? never, you know? I might look like I yeah, have, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's from San Diego. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Gidget. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Um, but I, so I was like, I want to surf, you know, but I don't know enough about the ocean. So then I started boogie boarding and I was easy. like, and Surfing I still, you know, yeah, fucking easy. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. So then I, I started boogie boarding and I got the fins, I got the board and I started messing around, you know, sponging. But yeah. then I was like, I still don't know. And I want to like, I want to, I want to know the fucking ocean. I like, I don't know what wave to catch. I don't know what to go over. You know, like, yeah. I don't know that shit. I was born in the fucking Soviet Union. We don't have waves, <laughs> you know? Were you born in the Soviet yeah. Union? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, because you have to settle something for me yes. right now. Okay. I either hear people calling you Ukrainian Danny or yeah. Russian Danny. Uh-huh. Which the fuck one is it? Ukrainian Danny. It's but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Up until this. Okay, so I was born in the Soviet Union. Soviet Danny. 
I mean, kind of sounds pretty cool, it you know. Cool. I was born in the yeah. So, <coughs> our friend Nate started calling me Narcan Russian Nate? Danny. No, 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 Nate. Nate Walton. Yeah, Got it. Okay, okay. started calling me a Russian Danny. Okay. It was kind of like a running joke, and it stuck, you know. And yeah. I was like, "Oh, this is great." My first language is Russian. That's what I speak to, you know, with yeah. my family. Wow. But I was born in the Ukraine, which at the time was a part of communist Russia, the Soviet Union. Got it. Yeah. So then the war started, and fucking Russia starts invading Ukraine, and I can't keep going by, by Russian Danny, so I have to switch you it up. You can't keep going yeah. by Russian Danny. So not dead name, on, but yeah. not just on some like you know image shit. Like he had family there, he had to yeah. get out of Ukraine. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Okay. His grandmother, they had to bring Fuck. her out of Ukraine. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is she now? She's here. She's in LA. I was hanging out with her last. She went to Superba last night. They time literally for her went and time. got her. She came out of the Ukraine to Germany. They went and got her and brought her here. Yeah. Yeah. It's wow. fucking heavy. What's going yeah. on? How is it over there right now? Still, I mean, there's still war. She literally all like she had to leave. We found a we found an organization that could get her out of the country and like she like her she left her Whoa. fucking she left her fridge full of fucking food like and just jumped on a bus and took off. Yeah. So is all our shit grandpa's all still there? art. Yeah. We have a condo that's in Kiev in the capital that has all of my grandpa's art. Of like family heirlooms, all that shit's there. She was able to take. There was no luggage in the country when she was leaving because everybody had like went and bought everything. All the yeah. refugees that had escaped. So she yeah. literally like was able to find one bag and a backpack and stuffed everything she wow. had in it and fucking and hit it. And everything is still in the place. Every, I mean, yeah. I mean, as far as we know, we don't know if there's like you know people that are fucking breaking in. I was gonna to say, are like people like ransacking you, you think, places? Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, you would think, but then also it's like when it's your country that's being you know like fucking trying to the, the, where they're being trying like at war for them to go in and do that it's pretty would be pretty fucked right yeah. but i saw a tiktok the other day of a girl who was like me going back to my apartment in the ukraine yeah, after a year uh -huh. and i was like wait what oh, the oh. and it was like everything was dusty but all of her shit was there her phone yeah. was still charging that's why why, why? like apocalypse so crazy one of the dopest things i saw is early on when it happened you know when they were taking immigrants out a bunch of these moms in like germany or something <laughs> went and left their strollers at the train station wow. so Whoa. that the moms who were coming oh. to kids would have oh, wow. like there was like yeah. fucking a ton of them parked there wow so you yeah, could just we show up and grab one we were wow. at we i was at that train i was at that train station and in, and in budapest were like directly when they were coming so they would come through to there like straight into there was a few countries they were going to poland hungary and i forget what the last one i forget what the there was another country where they could get out to by you know once they could hit the border they could get there by train and every train station would have like around the clock volunteers and they would just have a bunch of humanitarian aid food clothing whatever medic medication the germans whatever. don't fuck around like they're still putting in work trying to make up oh, for yeah. that world oh, war yeah. ii oh, shit yeah. <laughs> like yeah. no <laughs> bullshit man they are fucking they bring yeah. it yeah. Oh, yeah they bring it well they also have like the smartest leader in the world they have angela merkel right mm -hmm. or whatever is that the smartest she's a female so she's Whoa. probably by default false. germany has a woman i don't know anything yeah uh, right? neither do i <laughs> angela merkel i don't know if she's i don't know if she's still chancellor but uh, she was that for does not time. sound like a german name Whoa, mm -hmm. angela merkel <clears throat> merkel it sounds like an actor on a sitcom. Yeah, yeah it really does. <laughs> yeah. Ur yeah. Ur you think yeah. about Urkel, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> wow, Germany has a fucking female leader. I did not know that. Uh, they did. Um, and then wait, real quick. Correct me if I'm wrong. You left the Ukraine on the heels of the Chernobyl accident. I was when you no were a kid. okay. So yeah, I was born in '85. Chernobyl happened when I was six months old. My other grandma that, that came here with us took me to Estonia. Because like basically broke me out before the government announced that there was like like nuclear fucking like waste was like radiation was being blown in by the wind into Kiev, which I was born fifty miles away from. You God know, to damn. paint a fucking that's closer than fucking Corona. Corona. Yeah, <laughs> Covina. How that's far is Covina crazy. from here? Tw about twenty five miles. Twenty four. So that's like two trips to you know that's like a like a round trip to fucking you yeah. know Wild. to Covina. Wow. Yeah, and uh, she took me out of there when Chernobyl happened. Yeah, your mom. Huh? Your my mom. grandma. Oh, no, your grandma my, my, took you? Yeah, my mom and my dad stayed there because they had jobs and they were still working. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> your grandma just packed you up and brought you she here. She said no, she took me to Estonia. Oh. Yeah. So if it wasn't for all that shit, you would have stayed over there. Mm, no, because we they wanted to come. You know, my they, oh, yeah, so they were yeah. Uh -huh. to come the fam anyway. was to come. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so it wasn't yeah. like you were chased out by. No, no, okay. no. By the no. motherfuckers all come to Hollywood, right, yeah. Danny? Uh huh. West Hollywood. Yeah. West Hollywood. Yeah. Little Odessa. Really? Is it really yeah. called that? that? That's what yeah. it was called. Yeah. Uh -huh. You grew up in West Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, straight to West Hollywood. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From the Soviet yeah, Union the to Soviet West Union, Hollywood, straight to WeHo, which is crazy because, like, you it's think about crazy. it. Yeah. And it's like there's like all these Russian Ukrainian people, you know. And then 
There's the gays. All the gay yeah. homies everywhere, you know? And I, All like, the gay homies. Yeah. I don't, like, I shout didn't, out. you know? Yeah, shout out the <laughs> yeah. gay homies. I didn't know that, like, you know, I didn't know gay people exist. Like, I don't I don't think I knew they existed before moving here. And I was like, whoa. This isn't, is... isn't gay marriage illegal? Isn't it, like, illegal to be in, gay in Russia? In Russia, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, Ukraine's, like, totally all for it. They're fucking with it. They're with the business. Russia, yeah, in Russia, like, you no. can't, like, like, you can't hold hands in public. You could be arrested Yeah, for I remember it. all that, no. like, pussy yeah. riot yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It was, like, yes, all yeah, about, yeah. like, they were just, like... There's like heavy like uh, draconian laws yeah. prohibiting uh, homosexuality over there. It's gnarly. It's crazy. Uh, well, it's take crazy. me there. <laughs> 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 take me there. Uh. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> ba- okay, but back to what the fuck. Cra- I don't even. I don't even know what the fuck I've done. What's the craziest up? thing you've seen happen in a comedy club? Yeah. There we go. Literally a few weeks ago, when Machine Gun Kelly f- tried to fight Sam Tripoli. Yeah, what no a shit. Way. That was pretty wild. That's wild. That was pretty <laughs> oh, oh, why did he like clown him in the audience? He or called something? him a wigger. No and then, way. And then Machine Gun Kelly like went backstage. I was walking in the hallway to the green room. Who of the this. Sam Tripoli? I gotta look him up real he, quick. As, I don't know. He's he has a big podcast. He's a comedian, but white guy. I think I think he's white. Who cares? Um. Anyway, Machine Gun Kelly like fucking beelined it to the green room where everybody was, and I was like, Oh right. First thing that comes up is MGK Sam Tripoli. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I walk. I started walking in at the peak of him being like, What the fuck? You fucking think you can talk shit? And Sam was like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like his and his boys were like holding him back and like don't do it, don't do it. He's like, you fuck, who want to talk shit a oh, lot. Wow. These are grown men. And Machine so Gun Kelly ain't a big dude, right? He he is. He is. He, he's like, extremely tall. He's uh, not like a fucking. Yeah. You know, he's not like a strong looking yeah. dude, but he's very like a green bean, very yeah. tall yeah. and lean. Uh. Yeah. Gumby, if you will. Gumby, Gumby esque. Yeah. That was so. That was why. That was fucking wild. What else? Have people I been still doing? be doing mad. I mean, well, like probably nowadays, just a little lightweight blow on the DL at comedy clubs and shit like that. Yeah, you were know. Were you in comedy when people were really just going hard back there backstage? And yeah, I I know that before I started, meth was really big. A really, lot of no people shit. were doing meth. I yeah. didn't know it's that. It's really hard to be funny on meth. You're like, hey yeah. guys, things are coming out. You know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just like really hard to be funny on. But a that. lot of the real legendary comics did a lot of coke, right? Oh, like yeah. Robin Williams. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like Sam George Kinison. Carlin. Sam I'm Kinison. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I saw him yeah. live before he died. Sam Kinison. Day. Yeah. That's how old I am. <laughs> wow, wow. At, the Ana- at the Anaheim Celebrity Theater that had a center stage. You know it, Dave. And it had a center stage that like moved in a circle. And he was talking about doing fucking rocks the size of rocks you'd find in your fucking driveway. Like, you no. know, yeah, he was... He was with it. That's what killed him, right? He Is had, it? Like, he had like a crazy life where he like... He was married to this girl... Like some Hawaiian chick, and she had a sister that was either a twin or looked a lot like her, and he was fucking with both of them and doing drugs, and Whoa. like they were, you know, and it was like I'm not high, I'm that, and he'd be with this one, and then no the way. other one, and like just he had like a lot of chaos in his life. Yeah, See, I I was not ever somebody that could handle it. Like there are people who are like high functioning drug addict alcoholics. I'm very low functioning. I can hardly function as a sober person. So when I was getting fucked up, I just was like. I don't know what to do. Like I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't Would get you, like, my shit show together. Up late to sets and shit, or not? I'd show. I yes, but like it, yes, but I was also spending like I just couldn't get it together. Like I would sleep all day. I was throwing up like in my bed. All of, I was always throwing up. I'd Oof. wake up like next to piles of throw up and Oof, like, yeah, you know, wake up at four p.m. hungover. Like I just couldn't. Not high functioning. Yeah. Could, didn't didn't last long. Going that's rough. Way. Yeah. And then we did, we, so booze is your primary thing, right? Yeah. Honestly, beer. <laughs> <laughs> what brand? What I brand? Loved, of I loved one? IPAs. Wow. No. I was always. Yeah, <laughs> I've yeah. never had an IPA because I, I was sober before they came out. Yeah. I quit. Yeah. I, honestly, I loved IPAs. Yeah, they came out after I was like a recreational drinker. So when I would get loaded, which, you know, because I've been in and out of the program since I'm like 19. Like, if I was out, I'm not going to fucking try and enjoy an IPA. You know what I mean? I'd get hard liquor, the fucking drugs, and you know what I mean? I'm not like, oh, I'm going to enjoy this IPA at this (laughs) Motel 6 in Van Nuys right now, you know, on the patio. (laughs) This is why I have imposter syndrome, because I'm just fucking drinking IPAs. But correct me if I'm wrong, Sierra Nevada is an IPA, right? I think so. It's maybe, it's a Sierra Nevada pale ale. 
Yeah. So it's Indian Pale Ale. That's IPA, right? I think so. Really? I think yeah. you're right. So I believe, Keith, you maybe have had IPA. I don't think so. <laughs> Sierra Nevada's you never had a been Sierra around Nevada? a long time. I don't yeah. think so. Wow. Sierra Nevada, are, they, I are IPAs had. new? I don't, I don't, yeah, the I don't. whole beer, modern beer thing is kind of okay. new. It's just, I liked them because they had the most, they have the highest alcohol. Yeah, so anything that had like 10% uh-huh. yeah. or more, I was like, give them yeah. here. Yeah. Like, but you know, you know what's funny? Because like, I was like you. I mean, I was like, you know, pissing the bed, throwing up all the time. Love I remember, that. I had because I was a daily drinker well before I was into meth. And mm-hmm. I never would have been to prison if it weren't for drinking. Yeah. I don't, I don't oh, believe shit. so. The courage, really? it gives you that courage. Well, it gives you courage. And I'm a uh. fucking nightmare when I'm drinking, yeah. you know, but like I'm violent, but. That's only one where you wake up and don't know what the fuck you did the night before. Yeah. You know, you don't do that on dope or crap. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But it's true. It was, yeah. I would like, I remember like, dude, 17, 18 years old, but I remember I'd be like, I was super bloated. I was just drinking every day. But yeah. I would finally like throw up, you know? And I, I remember being like, like I won the lottery. I was like, fuck yeah, thank God. You know what I mean? Because I can put more so in I there. Start again. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then when I started doing the crank, I was, yeah, twenty. I was probably twenty one <laughs> or twenty two, doing it as a habit, you know. Yeah. Then I was just like, okay, great, because then you can kind of do it and not not throw up all the time. But you know, every like every violent crime I've ever been arrested for was behind alcohol. So yeah. wow. I've been arrested for drugs, you know, drug crime. But I feel like meth addicts are always fucking unhinged. Like they yeah. seem pretty scary. I, you I, know what? It's it, uh, the worst shit I've ever done was on, on it alcohol. Was drinking. I mean, <laughs> wild by far. Did you, the meanest Did shit. you hanging out down in Oceanside and stuff, hang out with a bunch of tweakers? No, that wasn't really, n- no. Because I wasn't, when I was in Oceanside, I wasn't really drinking yet. Because I oh, left when right. I turned 17. Oh, shit. And I was like, you know, dr- I was drinking in high school, but like not a fuck ton. Yeah, if you weren't dabbling with speed, you weren't hanging out I with wasn't, tweakers. I didn't get sure. into, I also, well, I was also prescribed Adderall. I, I was just on a fuck ton of Adderall, but that was just my own little... That's the same thing. That was my own little journey. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't like hanging out with tweakers, yeah. you know. Would you stay awake all night on the Adderall sometimes? Later on, I, you know what? I honestly don't fucking remember. I think yeah. it burned a lot of my brain cells because yeah. I was on a lot of it. I, I have very, I have like holes in my memory because I yeah. don't, I don't remember. I don't know if I. Interesting. I was also sneaking out. I was sneaking out a lot at night, and I was like going out with fucking guys and driving and being on Adderall. That's what I was gonna say. You probably hung out with tweakers if you, because I heard you say something on the pod about like dating prison guys or maybe Harper said that about so you my, or something. Uh, so my ex-boyfriend, so. my first boyfriend, <laughs> I was 15, he was 22 and he, I found out was addicted to crystal meth, but yeah. I didn't know it during my relationship. He was no on, way. He was on had parole. No idea. I, had no, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. And then I found out and I remember he was missing teeth and I was just like, Yes, that's just my man. I didn't know that like that was a result. You I didn't remember. know what drugs were. There was never any weird behavior. And by I him? don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't. Remember. She was fifteen. I was fifteen. I was, no, yeah. Yeah. What the she's fire? dating a twenty-two-year-old tweaker. That's yeah, like dating I, Reno when he's twenty-two. But when you're fifteen, you're just like, whoa, yeah, it's yummy. Like that's yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, he's got a car. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Tattoos. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He, but he had like yeah. Yeah. been tattooing himself, like all yeah. fucked up, you know. But I thought it was so. <laughs> Upside down like, stars and shit. Literally. Like he had upside down spider webs all over him and like oh my God. he had horrific tattoos that he had and thinking about it now actually because I remember Is he the dead one? No, he's not. Uh-huh. He's not. Yeah, the, the dead one is no. He's on a, weirdly still alive. Um he went by Diesel. No and, way. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And I remember him telling me, he's like, yeah, I fucking t- t- tatted myself in the mirror. And looking back on it, it's like, oh, he's probably on. <laughs> That's His what he jaw said. was just like fucking this the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was fucked up looking, but I thought he was so hot. You know, yeah. I was like, this older guy. That's young. wild. Yeah. But he wasn't like, he never like offered me drugs or anything. I just would drink with him. Did he have a job? He, con- <laughs> construction. Yeah, Oh, oh, construction, yeah. of course. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he couldn't read. He was illiterate. Oh, no shit. He was 100% illiterate. Like when you would go to a restaurant, he would look at a menu, he would just be like, So Give you, me the you'd think chicken. we'd go to restaurants, but there's no way. <laughs> yeah. like, no, I was going to his apartment, and that was it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Reno, you're talking about a 22 year old. <laughs> Amphetamine am enthusiast I'm construction like, worker that's dating a 15 year old. Denny's. I'm yeah, he wasn't Denny's. taking me out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. he never took you to Chuck E. Cheese? Never <laughs> took me to Chuck E. Cheese. I He's wish like, hey, he boo, had. We, hey, they got a good kids menu over <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> Oh, uh, I miss him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I miss him. Yeah, yeah. Diesel, yeah. So where'd you go when you were seventeen? I moved here. 
to LA? Yeah, I moved like to LA. Like you were just like, fuck it, I'm going chasing yeah. your dreams. Yeah, I was just like, fuck, I'm out of fucking Oceanside. What did you do when you got here? I went to uh, I went to LACC. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's my for education. For yeah, for construction. For <laughs> construction. Yeah, yeah. Electrical engineering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For math and construction. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I moved there to, st- I went to theater school for a little bit. Oh, and that's that was cool. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> no, hey, you fucking Rick Owens went to LACC. Yeah. That's where he got his uh, fashion degree from. Wow. Yeah, what's where dreams come true? The first campus for UCLA, so technically you could say. Oh, really? I went to UCLA. UCLA. <laughs> yeah, alumni. Adjacent. Yeah. 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 Right. Mm-hmm. Adjacent. Adjacent, yeah. <laughs> so how long was that program? I went there for three years. It studied theater. And Did you live in Hollywood while you were doing that? Mm-hmm. Or? I lived in K-Town. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you just got into all the grime, like partying, going to clubs, hanging out. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it's a theater school. I don't know. It was very, like, very, it was like a little tiny high school where we all knew each other. You know, it was like this group of like 60 people that was around each other for like three years. And Any so it famous was just people like, that you went to that school absolutely with? Absolutely not. Yeah, <laughs> everybody was from the Midwest and moved out there to be like, I'm going to be a star. And then everybody left. You know? <laughs> so that was that. Everybody. And went back to fucking Kankakee, Illinois. Exactly. They're working at yeah. Cinnabon right now. Yeah, 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 exactly. I remember like a bunch of kids that I went to school with, they like all changed their names, you know, like to be actors. So these like dorky names. Ethan Chase. And shit exactly. Like that. exactly. Exactly. And then they all Deethan. move. Yeah, Deethan. <laughs> and they all move back home and change their names back to their. Hey, but you jumped into the industry after you finished. I did. Um, and I didn't. Guys, I remember I was just such a bad actor. I really got into it. I got into theater because I wanted to get over having stage fright. I just wanted to like learn how to be social. So you knew, oh, just for that the social reason, the social, not that you knew you wanted to do comedy. No, no, no. That came a couple years later. Okay. I just got into theater because I was like, I don't know what else to do. I want to like get learn how to like not be anxious around people. So yeah. I was like, I'll study theater. That's rad. Yeah. Smart. I was bad at it though. It was terrible. I remember like we would do, you know, we'd like do. You're like, he's got a gun. Yeah. And I would come out and I'd be doing like serious monologues and everybody would laugh at me. And I'm like, it's not funny. (laughs) Why are you guys laughing? This is Hamlet. I went and saw Gabby do do stand up. And so like, you know, I just met Gabby. So I didn't know her that well. But she gets up, she does her thing and she goes, yeah, I'm going to go see this dude right now. She goes, I sent him a picture of my pussy. And and his reply was, damn, so bomb. And I'm like, (laughs) so anyway, so. The thing is over. And, and he did. No, but I'm like. That really happened? No, but dude. Oh, yeah. I was like, no, I was like, she's a fucking genius. She wrote that. And then she's like, no, no that he, happened. No, actually, he wrote that. Like, <laughs> I did nothing. I was simply the vessel. I simply sent him a pussy picture, and he just goes, damn, so bomb. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. was he from Oceanside? That you know like what? An he, he Oceanside does. Reply. You'd think, but no, he was not. He's not. <laughs> Damn, so bomb. Damn, so bomb. Well, like, he's the most vulnerable part of my body, and that's <laughs> what you're gonna say. Uh, and do you think that even stopped me from going to fuck him? Absolutely not. <laughs> I was, couldn't drive there faster. Uh, <laughs> He was 17. He was, <laughs> <laughs> oh it was Diesel's God. firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> and he was also on meth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is yeah. fucking hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. So fun. So people were laughing at you doing monologues. You're like, I'm not trying to be funny. And yeah, I was not trying to be funny. Figured out that... Trying to be a serious actor. And everybody mm. laughed at me. My teachers would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I, I remember one time I like... I had I was doing Shakespeare and I like walked out on the stage and my with the teacher before I even started talking was like no 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 and I was like what <laughs> you didn't even say anything I didn't yet. even say anything I just walked out on stage and he's like no 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 like no what was that and I was like I'm just walking <laughs> that was that and then I was like I can't I guess I'll do something else <laughs> I guess I can't fucking act <laughs> so embarrassing that's awesome have you ever smoked PCP no <laughs> no. <laughs> it seemed like I'm on it right no. now. <laughs> yeah. No, but it does look wild. I remember mm-hmm. seeing videos of people like flipping cars on it and I was and fighting cops. Yeah. Yeah. Finding cops, like, you know what? The flipping car shit. I don't know. I've smoked a lot of PCP. Have you really? A lot of PCP. Wow. And it's a question that we ask all of our guests. I don't know how it started. Do you remember how it started? No. We just uh, everybody gets asked it across the board, you know? Yeah. And uh but I've never attempted even to flip a car. <laughs> you know? Like I was like, you know, what did you do when you were on it? Fight walk. cops. Yeah, fight, fight, cops. Yeah, just fight cops. Walk really slow. You know, you feel like it's like um, you feel like you're cool. like in a snowstorm. Walking storm. on the moon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. really. Yeah, and you're just like walking really slow. Um, I thought for me it's like a 
I started to feel like it's like it felt like everybody was like, uh, oh man, I don't know how to explain. It. I thought I was Kurt Cobain once, and like my homie was trying to shoot me. You know, like my homie was trying <laughs> you to like shoot actually me. Actually, thought you were. Kurt I thought Cobain. I was Kurt Cobain. Whoa. I thought my my girl my uh, girlfriend at the time, Sasha, who Reno, who was where you might even have met Sasha. She's sober. Okay. Um, I thought that she was Courtney, and she was coming after me, and like there was a gun. And with the, I mean, like truth be told, there was there was a gun that my friend was like trying to stash in the house, and this whole thing, like that was the the, the <laughs> one that I I've talked about it, where like he kept trying to like he was basically trying to kill our other friend with it, but I was like, oh, I got it figured out, like you know, yeah, like, I, don't, yeah, I don't know where you I did the you, math. I did the it math. All makes yeah. Sense. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. What is with drugs and doing like what makes people go into just that like psychosis of like thinking you have it figured uh, yeah, out I don't know. Like, I don't you know, know what i mean yeah. like, meth is a big like i in the scary thing about meth is well the modern meth like the street creatures now is completely different than anything any of us have done but the meth we did like you know people would like you know what's interesting that like women in the 90s mostly it would be like not all women but random women all of a sudden would be like yeah, like this one chick was telling me how she her husband was an alien and lived on Mars. <laughs> but she yeah. only talked like this when she was high. You know what I mean? If she yeah. was sober, she'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right. But she would get high and go into this thing and said she had 100 kids and all this. And it was very, <laughs> dude, but it was like she spit well, it I like it was nothing. This shit yeah. on speed what people. is that? I, it, well, it basically, it just starts to really fuck with your mind. And I think. Also, it's a lack of sleep has a lot well, to do with it. Well, that's big time. But you know? it, right. it does unlock certain parts of people's minds where they. I think people invent those stories to seem important to themselves and to mm. other people because huh, yeah. you're just sitting there doing drugs and doing the same fucking thing every day. You're waking up, you're going, you know, getting dope, staying up forever, drawing, stealing shit, hustling, yeah. doing all this stuff, talking shit about other each other, fucking people. You know what That's I mean? That's what yeah. we, we call it the dope opera. Yeah, the That's dope really opera. I've heard, really yeah, funny. I haven't heard that in a long time. But I think it, people start to like, you know, oh, there's something bigger going on here. Yes. Like, they just start to kind of like fantasize. It's kind of like how all of these disenfranchised people fucking go down the rabbit hole with YouTube yeah. and get stuck on flat earth shit or yeah. this or that. It's like, Whoa. you're just like. What do you mean you're stuck on <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you talking about <laughs> whatever name, name name the conspiracy you know that bill gates is killing fucking people in other countries with yeah, yeah, yeah. uh immunizations or whatever it's like you're just you just can't what's it called like negotiate the fact that you're just fucking a drug addict and yeah. you're just doing nothing right and you just invent these stories to make yourself feel important or something i think well it's interesting that's like a deep psychological unpacking of it, it but is. like but I, i've just seen so many people just spiral and spin out of control then there's just simply i've been up too long and i'm just seeing shit and imagining shit and a, a nap will cure that but yeah. meth you know psychosis I mean? sounds really um on par with like what it sounds like when people are in like bipolar like mania probably you has. know what i'm when yeah. people are like yeah. similar it's, it it's, a, has they, similar it's that thing you yeah. always hear people i don't know remember do you guys remember when bam margera was like going wild yeah yeah and he was just like i know the language i know the language and like i'm, I'm fucking speaking the language and i, I figure i cracked the code and i always my friend had a bipolar break one time and her whole thing was like i cracked the fucking code and i'm like what they're all cracking this code yeah. he so made his own a, he actually made, wrote his own language his own language yeah. Yeah. yeah my friend was sponsoring him shortly after that really yeah yeah, yeah. wild yeah, but yeah. But you yeah. see this like when in Mania, it's that they there's like the, the same thing of very like, similar, yeah, right. Uh -huh. And I'm like, are they actually uh -huh. all onto something? Like, I, they, yeah. Are they saying yeah. something we're not? Uh -huh. So right? I feel I, I'll give you I'll give you guys my theory, and I just came up with this as you asked that question. <laughs> so this is a very new theory. I have not. It's not. <laughs> you know, it's like all right. So you know how when you take like mushrooms or acid or whatever, and like. Um, and it throws you like you have like a spiritual experience, you know, and like you see God, you get to meet God, you yeah. know. It's like you have these like pure like, you know, and like a lot of people will chase that. And that's why they keep taking the mushrooms. They keep taking the acid or keep doing that. Like or I've won, I'm going to do all three of them to get that thing, you know, like you right. try to hold on to it and you're like, I'm going to remember all this stuff forever. And then like you fucking, you yes. know, and then you like for, you know, so I think it's like that. But like with the God thing, but kind of with like the opposite, you know, I don't I don't want to say the dead devil or whatever, but it's like the mania, you know, where it's like you're doing these drugs right. and it's basically like a fast forward button to get to this fucking kooky place where like maybe some people already have a little bit of that in them, you right. know, and it's just like unfucking releases it. Magnifies Cause, it. Yeah. Because yeah, I've done the true. same dope with the same people with the same amount in the same house from the same batch out this smoked from the same pipe, you know, and yeah. uh, 
there was this girl. Um, I've told this story before, but I know you haven't heard it. So there was this girl that, um, and we had this crime that we came up with. This is like my, my low level crime career where I would go and I'd get cereal on EBT. You know, that's not the crime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we would go and get, I had EBT at the time and people were like maybe trading me their EBT cards for <laughs> stuff. You know, I don't want to give too much information. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, 25 cents, depending on how bad they needed the bread, you know, (laughs) and I would go, but then I like, I didn't want to spend all my EBT on overpriced cereal, you know, because like, man, fucking Lucky Charms cost a lot of money, but Apple O's or whatever does not. And like marshmallow fucking whatever, you know, like 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 off brand, off brand, bag cereal. Yeah. Yeah. So what I would do is I would go to like food for less, specifically the one that doesn't exist on Western and sunset. And we would go, yeah. Yeah, RIP food for less. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next to the ICDC college also RIP. Yeah. The McDonald's McDonald's, all. Yeah. That whole corner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we would go there and I would open up the boxes of the nice cereal. Cause I don't want to eat the boo-boo cereal. I want to eat the good shit, you know, <laughs> but I don't want to spend my other people's EBT money on the good <laughs> you cereal. You don't want to yeah. spend other people's money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. They're right. hard earned EBT, you know? So I would go yeah. and I get double sided tape. I would open up the boxes of cereal. I would take out the lucky charms, put it into Apple O's, use double sided tape to reseal it. Go and get like eight boxes at once that are one dollar, and I would get them all and pay with somebody else's EBT for the cereal. Bring it home, put it on top of my fridge, and I would eat the cereal. And you'd you know? have double the cereal. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I would have the, but they would never match up. You know, right. we would always be like a different cereal in a different box. Right. <laughs> so my friend, who I'm staying with at the time, who's doing the same dope that I am, the same meth, getting just as high as I am, maybe staying awake even less days. You know. Yeah. Also goes to eat cereal and she opens up a box of whatever and it's like a total fucking different cereal, you know. So then she's like, okay, like this don't fucking add up. So then she goes to get like the frosted, you know, the the frosted patties or whatever, yeah, and the it's fucking frosted yeah, flakes. and it's like raisin bran or whatever. You know what? I don't know. I've yeah. never get fucking raisin bran, but you know whatever it was. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So it's, I mean, <laughs> so, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll get ease into it someday. So she comes. So one day I come. I come home and she's sitting there and she goes. You think I don't know what the fuck you're up to? And she's mad, you know, and the cereal's all out on the table. It's like thrown around. I'm like, dude, what's up? You know, and uh, I keep trying to say it. Well, I'm going to say it, whatever, Colleen, you know, and she's sitting there and she's <laughs> like, uh, so do you think I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on here? And I was like, damn, she's going to like let the people know that I'm spending their EBT, whatever. Like, you know, I don't know what, like, I was like, fuck, like, is she going to like, like, I don't know what she was, where she was going with this. She goes, yeah, motherfucker, I got you figured out. I know what you're doing. Fuck you. And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, fuck you and fuck all of you for not fucking telling me about this shit. And I was like, what, like, what does she think? Like, what does she think is going on? She goes, y'all think I didn't know you were a part of a fucking secret cereal society? Stop. Yes, dead ass serious, 1,000%. Oh and God. she's fucking heated. She's like, I yeah. figured it she, the fuck I figured out. out. She cracked the code. She, you know, cra- she, she literally cracked the fucking code. Cracked the she's code like, where's code. Tony the Tiger? Bring yeah, that yeah, motherfucker yeah, out yeah. right now. I know. I, where's yeah, the captain too? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> fuck the you. Captain Are, wow, so she cracked the code. She cracked the code, yeah. Wow. And I was like... God, it's just you know, you, you can't convince her, you know, you at that point. I was like, you got me. You know, yeah. like, fuck, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Now, one thing, that the cereal in the box, on. you weren't there. She's alone in the apartment. She's getting yeah. high. Why is this different shit? In my, it just, it's yeah. all making sense. Everything. I can't even crazy. imagine with the modern, like the internet nowadays, like YouTube and shit. Mm. The people who are doing speed are just, you know, they're just in YouTube wormholes. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Margell, that. that like, it started when we were, I was still getting high, where it was like the Margellan. Is that what it's called? Magellan? Magellan. Margellan. Do you know? So it's like no. this thing that people think where there's fucking, uh, it's, I forget it's called Margellan's disease. Laura Kit talked about it a little bit when she was on here. Where like these tweakers think, and maybe it's not just tweakers, it's like people think that there's shit coming out of their skin. Like they think oh. there's insects inside start of picking. them. Or they start oh, picking. Or then they God, think there's yeah. like little yeah. metal shavings not coming out of them, you know? And I knew this girl that would literally just sit there. I'll like, leave a place when someone's doing that. When they're yeah. picking? Like, she, no, but she would start, she would be sitting there with a the fucking there. magnifying tweezers. glass, tweezers, like, oh, I see one right there. And like literally oh. going in. And then she she would like look around and she would think that on yeah. the on the wooden floors where she would like sit and smoking all around her she was like there was she thought there was insects everywhere she would, she would have a torch and she would just be fucking <laughs> burning the floor just like literally <laughs> she would sit in a little circle and all around her was like all just burn was she, she was fucked up oh yeah Oh this, this is uh, shit that like that like uppers do to you right yeah. they just I, yeah. one time you just reminded me of something one time i, I was probably like 
23 or something, but like I'm, I got out of prison. I was dating this girl and her friend was over and like her and her friend would go a little bit deep, but I, I wasn't really hip to it yet. Right. But I'd stepped on like a splinter or something. I'm like, fuck, there's a splinter in my foot. Can you get it out? Right. Oh, Jesus. I have my foot up and she gets it. Dude, it must have been like an she hour. Whips and down a magnifying like yeah. things and shit over and her dude, eyes. She's like, and I'm like, God damn, do you and dude, forever. And I finally there's like a fucking hole in the bottom oh, of my no, foot. No, yeah. No, no. And then you're high, so it's infected now. Were you high yeah. too? You were high too. Yeah, I was high too. But I didn't I couldn't see it. You know, and she's like, No, I'm telling you, I almost got it. I'm like, what? Maybe it was a piece of glass. It was something. Oh my god. But oh. I was like, she was just digging in there. Oh I saw me I saw a meme recently that was like, I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to tell anyone when I refill my Adderall prescription, but there will be signs. And it was a, <laughs> it was a strawberry and a pair of tweezers, and I've every scene was Naked picked off the strawberry. Every what? Every scene was picked off the strawberry, <laughs> lying in a pile next to the naked strawberry. So with no way. Yeah. No. But. I uh, yeah, I've been having I've been having a fucking a a, a real thing because i i was put recently on um vivance which is like the cousin yeah, totally. to adderall I know it. I know it. and i started getting a little bit like i don't know if i actually want to be on this anymore yeah, because it's starting to on. feel a little too tweaky you know because yeah. i started getting obsessive about it and i was like for sure what am i gonna do if i can't take my vivance and i'm like whoa i should not be thinking this yeah. way about yeah it's a highly addictive drug highly addictive yeah, so totally. i i like had to talk to my sponsor about it and i was like i don't know what to do and she's like set it aside and ever since we had that conversation it's like been out of my mind yeah but it was getting a little bit like i was like thinking about it is it for adhd it is okay and i do have it severely i had to go get tested a couple of months ago and they're like we don't know how you function and i was like me either (laughs) (laughs) I, I, i heard somebody with a ton of time at yosemite a couple of weeks ago dude had like 20 years or something and he was like i recently you guys i i haven't known what the fuck's wrong with me for years I've had no idea how to deal with it, and I finally just got a diagnosis, and I'm so grateful. Like I was there it, for that. Yeah, the guy that was like, I have ADHD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had literally thought he was People gonna come throw- out and say that he had AIDS, and then he was like, ADHD. <laughs> and I was like, oh. everyone just throws some fucking Truvada yeah. at his ass and shit. <laughs> like, shit's yeah. like a cold now. Get off the stage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, it's fucking real. People just throw it around like it's oh, I have ADHD. Like you know, yeah. because so many people. Uh, play doctors for scripts so right. many of us do that shit right. if you really need that shit yeah you know what i mean and or the, something like it right you know? and i've been having to think about it a lot my my relationship to it because mm. it's a fuck it's a tricky one my 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 opinion on that is you know look uh, sponsors are amazing but doctors are the yeah. fucking truth yeah you can't fucking like you know i've too many i've been in the rooms for uh, like 25 years on and off and like i heard stories of you don't need to be taking that shit and next thing you know dude throws himself off a fucking yeah. seven story yeah. parking garage yeah you know because he like doesn't want to let his sponsor down but doesn't want to fuck can't function without the meds yes you know what i mean yes. it's like you know my psychiatrist he's an addiction specialist so we talk a lot about it See, yeah because you're, you're he, in good hands he, he, he yeah. was like do you want adderall or vibrance i was like i don't fucking want adderall because i know like that shit is too much for me. Yeah. It's too weirdly addictive. It's too environments mm. is like not. So Honestly, bad, you know what? It's it's like if methamphetamine wasn't your drug of choice, it's not the same fucking ballpark. Like I, I was saying a minute ago, was you know clean all that time and then he manipulated a doctor into fucking giving him vivance and then that whole thing he ended up i'm allah on my way to the promised yeah. land really uh-huh. fucking you know because he went and got dope shortly yeah. thereafter yeah. but like you know that, that was a bit of an overstatement a moment ago where i was like oh that's a highly addictive drug i just know it is a, well, it's a controlled substance yeah it's an amphetamine cousin but yeah yeah she, don't is, a, she to... is a cousin yeah. she is yeah. but it's <laughs> like a distant cousin yeah. dist- <laughs> i know yeah, yeah. my doctor was like it's like the role Rolls Royce of uh, <laughs> stimulants, and I was like, Seriously? "Yeah, he's like, it does. He's like, because it's not as addictive. It doesn't like release in your body like Adderall right. does. You know how you take Adderall, and it's just like." Bleh. You're like, great. I'll be at Spago having lunch. Have the pharmacy <laughs> deliver the prescription <laughs> to me there. <laughs> well, exactly. But you know, here's the thing: it's it's all about intention with us, right? Exactly. Yeah. Beautifully like, said. That's, but it is for all of us. Like, it's about intention. Like, you know what I mean? If, if 
that's what it, I had to reevaluate. Because, like, you know, there's there's a group over on the West Side where they're like, no, but you can't be on fucking Medicare. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. You're not about, a doctor. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. about some of the bad fucking junkies that we're friends with that just struggling. The Suboxone is like, save them for a time yeah. from being out there in a fucking tent smoking yeah. fentanyl. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know, it, it's not up to, it, 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 as long as you're not self-prescribing. Right. You know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. A, a fucking um, antidepressants had like saved my life. You yeah. Know? Uh, Lexapro. I'm on like a very low dosage of it now. My brother but, too. Yeah. But the difference it does make. I mean. You know, it's weird. I, when I was on Lexapro, I mean, oh, like over 20, I was on it for a few. Well, I was on Celexa and then. You know how it is with the drug companies. If you think you like Selexa, <laughs> this is Lexa Pro. You know what I mean? I'm like, ooh. They hit you, they hit you, yes. they hit you in your DMs on the gram. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but they switched me. The doctor goes, I'm going to switch you to this. I'm like, all right. And it, it felt the same, but it helped. Because I would do that all the time. Like, I had, like, uh, nerve. Yeah. Like, I still do it sometimes. But it really cured that. So I, I went off of it for a while. And then like, I don't know when the fuck that was a year and a half ago or something. Remember I was on that boost bar. I told yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Which, I fuck with boost bar. Yeah. Boost bar helped me a lot. And then it didn't help. I didn't know. I guess I was on a very small dose. You were my too low. I mean, yeah. We're really fucking going. <laughs> yeah. Down the mess. yeah. I know. Well, I think opinion. what the point being is for people like us is like, it's about intention. Like if the doctor, totally. if you take a fucking test and they say you have ADHD, then you should, and, rigorous test six hours god damn it's a fucking six because it's a it's a controlled substance they want to make sure that you're not that you know must, must be a motherfucker if you got adhd oh huh? I f and i and i and i failed hey like, look at me i'm a p2 junkie spun to the hubs like a research monkey uh. <laughs> <laughs> running off 25 25 and a half 35 Dude. The doctor was she, afterwards. She was like, "Wow, that you really that, that was bad." And I was like, "I know. I fucking have had it forever." But it, you know, it, she was like, "I don't know how you even took these tests. Like you couldn't sit still." You're like, "Bitch, me neither." God damn. <laughs> I, know, I know. I know. I know. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's also not that. Fun. I don't know. It's a weird. I have a weird relationship with the medication right now. I'm like, it's not that fun. But then I'm also like in this headspace where I'm like, "Do I need it? I should probably have it." And yeah, it's like, I for don't... sure. I mean, it's just that that crazy. I think Keith said it best with the intention stuff. It's, right. You know, it's it even says in the literature about you know seeking outside yeah. help and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like, that shit. We ain't fucking. Doc I hey, I'll tell you what. I ain't a doctor. Yeah, I did for sell. Sure. I did sell. Um, <laughs> Boost bars as Xanax to people that weren't too bright. So you're you know? kind of a doctor. Yeah, I'm kind of a doctor. <laughs> you're doing the cereal thing. Yeah. He said, I'm not a doctor, cereal. but I play one on the streets of Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my old boss's daughter actually did call me Dr. Daniel. So Ooh. shout so, out. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of a doctor. <laughs> Shout out Princess Banana. That's what she called herself. Princess so, Banana. Princess, Princess Banana. Banana. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And that's uh, where it counts. It does yeah. count when it's coming. Princess from. Banana Air, called Air Marshal Reno. Huh. Yeah. Air Marshal. <laughs> <laughs> Is your real name Reno? No, it's Gennaro. It's short for a long Italian name. What's the long Italian name? Gennaro. But when you're little in Italy, keep it, keep it Reno. They called me Gennarino, and then they called me Reno. Yeah, okay, Gennarino. Yeah. Oh, the the Italians nicknamed you that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Anytime, anytime you meet an Italian. Italian, this name is like Gino or Nino or Tino or Lino, sure. which is not a lot in L.A., Lino New York. Or Tino, Back Lino. East, there's a gang of those. Um, it's because they have a long biblical Catholic fucking name, but Eno at the end means little because yeah. mm -hmm. their grandfather or dad is usually oh. big, you know. So my grandfather was Gennaro and I was Gennarino. And then they just call me, call me Reno. That's my favorite. I Remember? am learning so much on this podcast. I know. <laughs> so now much. I know the Soviet Union. <laughs> that was, that was Italian culture. That was yeah. one of the best parts of Goodfellas when he's at the wedding. Peter. Oh. Then there's another Peter. Don't, then there's yeah, a Mary. Don't Peter, get Paul, and, no, Peter, Paul, and Rose. They're yeah. all Petey, Polly, and his sister Rose. Yeah. <laughs> it was over and over again. Dude, that movie is a fucking mess. No, because here's the thing. If I've learned one thing about men in this entire world, it's that you guys love talking about Goodfellas, and you guys... <laughs> Every man talks about Goodfellas Straight the fuck and up. Scarface, and that's oh, I'm I'm yeah. on the road. When I go on the road um, with the guys that I travel with, they're always talking about those two movies, Scarface and Goodfellas. Really, any any, always. any set of guys that are close yeah. will be quoting Goodfellas. Always. Like, no, I thought you said I'm all right, Spider. No, you're not all right, Spider. You know what I mean? Like the lines <laughs> back and forth and shit. <laughs> I was at a dinner the other night with my wife's. Uh, my wife got this r incredible new job, and this recruiter that that you know got her, and we landed the role. So we had this like celebratory dinner with her, my wife, and me, and then him and his business partner. 
And he was a little more refined and from the Palisades and you know what I mean? Like a little Ooh. more conservative. And we started talking and I was like, yeah, I'm like a cinephile. I love movies. You know, I think he said he worked in film. His wife worked in film. And then he's like, oh, what's your favorite movie? And I started kind of trying to like think of something that like, because I like, I really am a cinephile. I'm thinking of movies that I thought he would be like. like impress, you could impress mm. him. You know what I yes, mean? Yeah. Like, and I think I was like Michael Clayton. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, oh, that's an amazing movie. He's like, he's like, what about Goodfellas? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I see, said that first. see, yeah. see, that it's is, every man, it's every man thinks it's about Goodfellas. It's probably the best move, fucking movie ever made. It, it's hard to say it's not. Yeah. It's that or The Big Lebowski. That's yeah, a great movie. Big Lebowski is a great fucking movie. It is movie. a great movie. I have never seen The Goodfellas, but when I do. Oh, you should watch it. You would love it. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm yeah. not kidding you. I got I got to watch it. It's really yeah. funny for a uh, a mob movie. It's, yeah, it, it is. Really, I, I got. I mean, it's so culturally relevant. It's, and then you can like, catch on A and E or anything that Henry Hill. That's the main character. His real life story is on all those mob shows and mob documentaries on cable. Like you, you'll catch his. He real was an story. impact right after me. That's so crazy. Henry Hill. So crazy. Hey. Wow. He was. Wait, an wait, impact. wait, wait, wait. But have you guys seen Paddington too? <laughs> <laughs> is that? I didn't wait, see the first one because I've heard that it's great. I haven't seen the first one, but I seen the second one, and that motherfucker goes hard. Wait, wait, wait. it's about a bear, it's right? It's about a bear that only eats marmalade. Is that the one Whoa. with Hugh Grant, where Hugh Grant tries to frame the bear? No, or is that Paddington One? That maybe that's Paddington One. Dude, the only Don't motherfucker we should be talking about, which I've been meaning to text you, is Cocaine Bear. We oh. okay? I keep seeing ads for it. What is yeah. it? Yeah. It's a, apparently it's based on true events. Ray Liotta's last film. It's a, it? it's a movie. Oh. Yeah, but apparently like some cocaine's in the woods and some bear does it or something. I don't know. I just watched a trailer. Wait, wait, for it's, re it's like a bear actually does cocaine. It's based on so. a true story, but they obviously like Blumhouse the fuck out of it and like yeah. amplify. I believe it, it was a. Pr it was like somebody that was trafficking cocaine. The plane either went down or something. Something happened, you know, or maybe they tried to like jam them up so they had to ditch it. And a bear got into the Shut cocaine. The fuck up. Yes. So it's and really the bear based goes on crazy. How did they yeah. find this bear? Yeah, it says straight up the cocaine bear, also known as Pablo Escobar, <laughs> <laughs> was a 175 pound American black bear that overdosed uh, on cocaine in 1985. The cocaine had been dropped by drug smugglers in the wilderness in Tennessee. Yeah, well, that's how that dude, that's how that dude, um, there was another he overdosed? Dude yeah, I guess the so. Bear did? How much was he doing? Like, did I he get mean, addicted to the coke and I, he kept going back? I didn't want to, like, you know, go on too long, but. Uh, Have you seen the trailer? Yeah. Oh, the trailer goes hard. Yeah. It. Yeah. Comes out on the 24th. Oh, they oh, fucked him. No, 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 it's not out yet. They taxidermed, oh. they stuffed him and mounted him, and he's on display in Lexington, <laughs> Lexington they him Kentucky. With cocaine. Why is he in <laughs> Kentucky? Yeah. yeah. That is Wait, oh, now you gotta see this. I no, I kept seeing ads, and it was pissing me off because I was like, what the fuck is this stupid thing? Yeah. Why is this bear? bear? Yeah. Advertising pissed me off. Mm. Gabby, have it's you ever seen a ghost? I love that question, and no, I wish. He ate 75 pounds of cocaine. That's <laughs> so many. That's so many pounds. I mean, that's so many pounds. The chief medical examiner from the Georgia State Crime Lab stated that his stomach was literally packed to the brim with Stop. cocaine. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh, my God. I wonder God. what they did with the cocaine after they cut that bear open. <laughs> yeah, right? It's still in there. Yeah. Yeah, that is fucking... Waylon Jennings bought the fucking bear. No way. <laughs> That's an insane story. Wait, Jennings is famous, famous fucking partier. Yeah. Wow. Did you ever see those tales from the tour bus? Yeah. Uh -huh. That Mike no. Judge did. Yeah, yeah. The dude that did Beavis and Butthead, yeah. the animator, yeah. Mike Judge. You know, he has like his, his like animation is kind of very like crude, if you will, yeah. like kind of like not well done. He did this series on Showtime called Tales from the Tour Bus, and it was all country western stars, and it was all animated, and it was all told like, who did he do? He did. Uh, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, he did Waylon Jennings, he did... Uh, did he do George, George Clinton? Pete George, no, he did George Jones. George Jones. And who was Tammy fucking out of control. Yeah, that, that series that he just had on Showtime, too, that uh, Michael Shannon him. played him, and Played's Jessica George Chastain Jones? played Tammy Wynette. Yeah, they're, they're, that was a wild-ass period, too. Anyway, the, the, that series, if you ever get a chance to catch it. The country it, stars crazy. are on another level. They were under no fucking scrutiny from Hollywood. They just fucking drank and fucking partied and fought and fucked. And, like, they were off the fucking rails. And they were making big money, too. But George Jones, like, I mean, everybody. Like, there's a book called Country Confidential that you should all read. It's, uh -huh. it's all those kind of stories. But 
it like and it was quotes people talking about George Jones and they were like they asked Johnny Cash like he was like the biggest star there he's like what do you think the ideal sound is for modern country and he goes well we're all trying to sound like George Jones that's wild you know like he had but, like 300 hits like yeah, so many he, fucking hits he fucking um he he would get to, she would like hide the car keys that fool rode a riding mower yeah, into town into to go town. to the bar wow yeah. he's with the business and then wow. when he started doing blow and he, he, he got like psychosis, he started talking to himself in a Donald Duck voice. So like he would be like, hey, what do you got? We guys going to get some beer. No like way. To, yeah. Like in front of like his entourage and everybody. <laughs> so he'd be like, and at one point when he quit blow, he like said, pull the fucking bus over. And he like went to the door and was like wrestling with the duck in his mind. Like he's addicted and, to the and duck. And then he fucking like opened the door of the fucking bus and pretended to kick the duck out of the bus and like supposedly quit cocaine from that day forward. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And that was his like actual like yeah. uh, you're done. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. The cocaine duck. <laughs> the <laughs> the cocaine cocaine that duck. series with Michael Shannon and Jessica Chastain. That is a wild story. Yeah. It's, it's a wild fucking story. crazy. It's on Showtime right now and it's yeah it's pretty they got a pretty heavy love mm. story. You know she did Stand By Your Man that song. Yeah. That country song. Yeah. Wait why did you ask about the ghost? Yeah. Oh, we always ask everybody that. Oh, yeah. really? It's the PCP and the ghost. The ghost. Those are two go-to, yeah. No, I've never had a paranormal experience, and it annoys me, but I'm also so scared of it, but yeah. I like kind of want it to happen because I like being scared. I've never but seen I also a ghost or a UFO myself. No, you heard about that thing that was just shot down, though, the other day, right? Yeah. Not the Chinese balloon. Three of them. They shot another one down today. Really? What? They yeah. shot the balloon Some down. Shit, not the, and it wasn't a balloon. They, they shot something else down, like I guess today, the other day, too. Yeah, like a cylinder. Shot. Yeah. A cylinder. Like, Nobody knows what they're trying to figure out what it is. Yeah. Could it have been cool Keith and the ultra magnetic MCs? <laughs> I been. seen some shit maybe about a month and a half, two months ago. It was Camille, myself, and Danny Metz. We all went to Cafe Figaro Yum. and had French onion soup. Delicious. So good. You know, yeah. So good. And we were driving west down Franklin and it looked like it looked like a um it looked like a firework, but it was like it flew from the sky down no. like it wasn't like from the you know from the ground to the sky and then Not it went Katy to Perry style from the ground no. Up, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right no no, okay. no 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 okay it flew down and then it separated and i was like did you guys see that and they were like no and i was Whoa. like come on i was like we you know they're like oh no we didn't see it and i was like i'm going to keep and it, the crazy thing is like it went down and then like the little like it almost fuck i don't even know how to it, like there was like like little like it kind of kept going for a while like it wasn't just like a quick like it broke off from the it center it broke off yes and then it just kind of kept going, and I could see it, you know. And then I was like, "Look, like," and I could still see the little thing. So I was like, "I'm gonna drive towards it," because I didn't know. I was and like, that it was, was a recently. Fucking, this was recently, right? That could have to do with these other things that are going. This on. This is like a month. Going on. So then, I'm like, "Yeah, yo, I know." And they were like, "Yeah, it was a fire," and I was like, "No, like I was tripping," you know. Three days later, Danny Metz is like, "Dude, is this what you saw?" And it was like from somewhere other, you know. And it's literally like in the fucking sky. I mean, I can't. I'll find the video and I'll send yeah. it to you guys. It's fucking banana. I've never. It you sounds know. like what you're describing is that thing that the military shoots that attracts like missiles. Like it's like a it's like a spark and then it scatters and it's supposed to attract like heat seeking oh, missiles. Oh really? Yeah. Maybe they're firing that shit up in the sky because there's more. You guys, of these what's going we, on? What is really I don't going on? What yeah. is going? I've been I've been so afraid recently. I'm like, are we? Is something are we gonna all die like something happening i mean my brother's high up in the military and he always tells me there's nobody that can fucking yeah. touch us there's really oh yeah we're light years us. ahead of everyone He's really like russia china nobody like it would be day a matter of days really that we would just be like <laughs> like no we okay, always have to, secret shit like I, that's the thing with with pearl harbor like the the japanese bomb pearl harbor and then like the price that they paid for that like when you cross America yeah. on that level, yeah. like you're really in fucking trouble. Yeah. Like there's all, like, cause that's, they dropped the H bomb and annihilated fucking Japan. I mean, literally in two seconds, they were conquered. Yeah. Two, one, one, one attack. Two, two, two bombs. Two bombs. Because yeah. I don't know anything. And then I like hear these things. And, I, and I'm well, just like, the, the oh, my media, God, the, what's going on? Totally. I get all freaked out. I love out. that voice you guys do <laughs> on the pod. Anytime they're like talking about something, there's like the Bart Simpson voice yeah. or whatever. <laughs> oh, just, my God. Yeah. It's, I was, <laughs> I was they're like laugh super hard and crazy. <laughs> okay. But what about the, is the world in danger? No, That's what I'm I think of. fucking, I mean, look. If Are it's, they coming for us? If it's UFO type stuff. 
I have no fucking clue. I was following Jeremy Corbell for a minute, who DJ's friends with, who was friends with that like dude who worked at like that lab in the desert and like saw the spacecraft. And he's like, there, there are they're, they're out there. It's true. Like it's a hundred percent true. I don't yeah. know enough about that to comment on that. But what they I just do classified know... a bunch of UFO documents. Right. Really. La- yeah. Remember you that documentary them. about Bob Lazar that came out? Yes, that's yeah. the that guy that he's wild. friends with. Is Bob Lazar. Camille's seen a UFO, right? Or no? I don't know. Because remember her and Eric Baxter, Jeff. Jeff they, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Shags. They would all go do that contact in the desert. I don't know. Oh yeah, they went. Huh? I don't know if they saw it out there, but that's why they went oh. in order to see it. What did you take away from that Bob Lazar talk? You know what? I really don't even remember. But crazy, I remember. Though, huh? I remember him talking about reverse ADHD engineering. I, in <laughs> I was wasted when I watched it. But I do remember him talking about reverse engineering those fucking spaceships. Yes. And then something about like cell phone. Like he like left a cell phone in the forest because he didn't want them to track him but they still somehow did i don't fucking That's know wild. but i he, it was just wild period it was wild yeah, yeah and totally. wasn't he like oh i'm afraid like i'm really risking my life for talking about this for stuff for sure for sure Where no they like they completely wiped him he like went to some prestigious university they had him removed from the roles there like completely tried wild. to discredit him they're like, oh, yeah, he never worked for this company. They're like, he's like, dude, I worked for this company for eight years. Like, I was a specialist, a tech on these special projects. Like, here's my fucking business card from back then. And they're just like, oh, he never worked here. You Is know, he still alive? Like, I haven't heard He, shit. I think, passed. Not that really? Ago, yeah. R.I.P. Well, R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. to the big Things homie. Are. Yeah. Oof, the reverse engineering king. <laughs> that oh, shit is crazy. Wait, so... Dave sent me something a while ago. Um, so it's actually, oh no, what am I doing here? Um, the Chancellor of Germany is actually Olaf Schultz. Oh, Schultz. Okay. Now, that's so a, that's not, now that's a German name. Yeah, the, Olaf? Yeah. That is not a female, I believe. Not to, not to, <laughs> I mean, I don't not know. But you know, in this, day, in this day and age. <laughs> you never know. Sorry, could, Olaf. Yeah, sorry. Bad. We don't know your pronouns, yeah. Olaf, but. <laughs> But we're assuming, mm. assuming mm. you are male identifying. That is a fucking name. Imagine having a baby and being like, man, it's Olaf. Yeah. I'm going to name that motherfucker Olaf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. yo, this, yo, little Olaf. This is Olaf. It's <laughs> yeah. a, I think about that in the fucking, and Newt Gringich. What a name. <laughs> Newt. They, they really yeah, had that. Newt. And they said, uh, Newt. Yeah. Tell us about your podcast. What about my podcast? It's uh, my Dude. podcast is we fucking have people email us in different topics every week, anonymous stories. Who comes up with the topics? Uh, it's it's a group effort. I use I think I come up with a lot of them, but it's we all kind of like decide yeah, they're collectively. Really, they're fucking great. You the need to be limits. around to be around. Gabby and Harper at the same time is pretty fucking incredible. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a wild. It's it, we do have a wild dynamic. It's it's in, awesome. it's incredible. I mean, I haven't been on the podcast, but mm-hmm. like I've been in their house. And I was like, fucking, this is a like the energy yeah, in that. It's, it's it's a it's energy. There's yeah. a, there's but big it's great. energy. It's funnier than shit. Yeah. He told me you guys all live together. I was like, yeah, no me me way. Kate and Harper all live together. That's so yeah. Rad. Yeah. It's fun. That's so rad. It's fun. It's a it's a high energy household. So the po- podcast is called Tea Time with Gabby Lamb. And Harper Rose Drummond. Harper yeah. Rose Drummond. Harper Rose Drummond. Come yeah. down off the veranda, Harper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Harper, Harper. We, uh, yeah, we have people email us in stories weekly about different top t- topics. We talk about them. We get some really wild shit. Yeah. Topics really such wild as shit. Off Limits, which off is the limits. one. This week we're doing shame, things that you feel you know, oh ashamed God, about. Oh, my that's going to be great. I hope. I hope we we waited a little long to put out the prompt. We're recording Tuesday. Tomorrow is literally Monday, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how many emails we get. But shame, you know, we're doing awkward hookups was a good one. Awkward hookups sure. was fun. Uh, sex ones are always fun because people love talking about. You What's know, your most awkward hookup? Everyone gets all silent. <laughs> we all start crying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking. I love it. I mean, okay, so I, I actually just talked about this on my podcast. One of the worst ones I ever had was I was hooking up with this guy and he started like crying like a baby. Like he was making little baby noises. Oh, like, I heard you tell that, that story. That was pretty horrific. Well, you having like, sex? Like, eh. so we never had sex because of that. Because oh. he was like licking my tits and he goes, and he starts like, eh, 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 and I was like, oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> and uh, that was. 
that and was. When she's telling stories like that, then Harper's in the background, like, no, 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 no. no it's that horrible. So it's hilarious. That was, the way it rolls. That was a really bad one. I, I also, don't listen to awkward hookups in, in the morning. Their the energy morning. is so it, so great. That was a bad one. That was really it was really embarrassing. Awkward I couldn't hookups. talk about it for a long time because I was just like, I can't believe that happened. It was just. Mm. Wasn't he someone from your improv class too? <laughs> no, no, he was. He was a stand-up. <laughs> oh shit! Don't degrade me like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was your friend. That the, was the janitor. Harper, from Harper, Harper, yeah, Harper's okay. ex-boyfriend was from improv. For the record, yeah, Gabby doesn't do improv. Thank class. you so much. And for wait, what was that uh, what was Harper's? Hook up with that dude. Uh, okay. She dated a guy that she met in improv, which is far worse than oh. anything I've ever done. So Hometown, yeah. hometown Scandals was a pretty fucking good That episode. one was wild. Colts was really good, too. We oh, some, I didn't listen to Colts. We had some really good one on Colts. Oh, I gotta listen to Colts. Hometown sure. Scandals was good. There were some dark... There was a really bad one in Oceanside where a little kid was... He just like went to the bathroom at the harbor and somebody walked in there and slit his fucking throat. Oh, no out. way. Yes. A little boy. Oh, my God. I know. And his, his like mom was standing outside waiting for him. And oh. somebody, some fucking psychopath just went in there, slit his throat, walked out. Oh, my God. I got, I got a hometown scandal for you. Okay. Kiev, Ukraine. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah. Late 80s, maybe oh, early 90s. Care. Yeah, that's it. That's, yeah. a, that's <laughs> a scandal. Yeah, there we go. We're done. The, the um, war. Yeah. My parents know this couple. I don't know if it's a scandal, really, but whatever. All right, my parents know this couple, and they would have these little dinner parties, and they would be inviting people over and all the time, and they'd want to go. And then I was born, and they were like, you know, and they would always kind of leave me like, they didn't, you know, like they would just throw me in a room and be like, here, just chill, you know, like you'll be fine, you know. And like everybody smoked cigs in their houses. My mom smoked through her entire pregnancy with me, like drinking. Yeah, like it didn't even chill. I drank. I had my first (laughs) drink when I was five, you know. They just leave me and leave. And um. They were gonna go over to this dinner party one night with the at these peoples that were like they were like the cool like artsy like you know motherfuckers wanted to hang out with them you know they were just like a cool couple yeah and I got really sick like really sick like some kind of like food poisoning or something you know I probably ate some gefilte fish or some borscht that was bad you know <laughs> borscht. yeah good old borscht and uh, and I'm fucking probably shitting and throwing up and shitting and th- I don't really remember exactly what what happened to me you know but. They didn't make it to the dinner party that night. Okay. And the next day, these people get arrested because what they would do is they would invite couples over, would, I forgot what exactly they did, like sedated them somehow and cut them up and they were cannibals. Shut no, no way. Yes. Fucking way. Shut the yeah. fuck up. And yeah. your parents were supposed to go. My parents were supposed to go and I saved them. And you saved them. I saved them. Damn. You because you were shitting and <laughs> yes, throwing. Shut, yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. that is the most Russian shit I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so hey, Russian. Ukrainian. Because yeah. <laughs> I fucking did, that's so. I've seen shit like I remember reading shit like these like Craigslist stories about like people in Russia who were like putting out Craigslist stories, being like, "I want to eat somebody," and yeah. like what, fucking. There, there people like, what down. did you think of that accent? Yeah, that was great. You, you nailed it. Yeah, yeah. All your LACC theater experience just yeah. fucking. You are off. a good actor. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Fuck you, Dr. Uh, Al Rossi, worst professor. Yeah. Um, that is crazy. Yeah. That is fucking crazy. My mom. Do you has, think they would have gotten murked if they had gone? For sure, one million percent. God damn. Yeah. Because it was like, were they the only was, couple that were invited over that night? I don't know. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. But I think it was like they would just Whoa. invite like couple, and they like they found there was like a bunch. Like it was Whoa. like you know it was like a big thing. Fuck. Yeah. I found. I looked and found the article somewhere, and I was like, "Mom, is this?" And she was like, "Don't ever fucking show me that." Yeah, no I was shit, like, no, right? Do not, yeah. How long after that happened did, did they get? Like, it was found like out? almost immediate. It was like within like a few weeks after that that they had that they were busted. Maybe like like very how very long, shortly. Well, after. How long was their run? I don't know. It seemed like a good like it was like at least a few couples had gotten fucking murked. murked. Yeah. Oh, they were yeah. drugging them and fucking cutting. That's very yeah, dark. Drugging them, cutting them up. Yeah, very dark. And then like free, like they had a freezer full of like fucking a freezer full of them. But they were also like their whole thing was they were can like. And then were they feeding the other couples? The other couple? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did they have kids? Like was it a yeah, whole? I don't know. I don't My friend know. Nick Sedaris, I grew up with like, in Covina. Like when he was uh, he moved here when he was like ten, like nineteen eighty. But uh, we're, he's from Chicago, right? And he was when he was a kid. He was like walking along the street somewhere and a dude tried to pick him, like get him to come in the car to get oh, him a ride. Classic. And it was fucking John classic. Wayne, John Wayne Gacy. No, no way. fucking way. Yeah. No dude. way. Uh. My friend, so my friend Brittany, she's a stand-up and she has a joke about this, but it's a real story. 
her dad um he's from wisconsin and like years ago decades ago he was in a bar in wisconsin drinking and this guy came up to him and tried to hit on him and her, her dad fucking socked him out was like don't fucking i'm not gay you know fought him and a couple of weeks later his friend called him and was like dude that guy you fought in the bar is on tv and it was jeffrey dahmer no no isn't way. that crazy Whoa. i know that's heavy fucking kicked his ass because he's not gay <laughs> <laughs> that's 70 there's something about that 70s shit with those serial killers oh, like yeah. well Dahmer was later obviously but no but we well Cal- in California I mean they were like this is the home of the fucking serial killer make no mistake yeah because these freaks come from other places but like the yeah, Hillside like, Stranglers. The, I watched that on Netflix recently. The Hillside Strangler that. and the Freeway Strangler. I don't know if you remember. We were little. You and I were young. Yeah. Them motherfuckers were throwing bodies along the two freeway, right? Yeah, all up and down the two. Right. But it was two separate. There was one, and then there was the two that were cousins that were doing it. Yeah. They were calling them the Freeway Stranglers, or the Hillside. Hillside, one of the two. Hillside Stranglers. But it turned yeah. out there was... a. Two people doing it. Yeah, a I dude didn't know killing that. mother. Yeah, I didn't, were, I didn't know there was a second party. I just knew the the, the, the the cousins. The cousins had an auto shop right there on Colorado Boulevard yeah, in, Glendale. in Glendale. Right, those two were killing people. I I don't know which one was first, but simultaneously, because everything was like in the basically along the two. Dude, they were like La they Crescenta, picked up like Dodger two girls Stadium. from like the Eagle Rock Plaza where the target is. Yeah. They picked up another nurse off Los Feliz in the five. Yeah. Like, oh. It was gnarly. You're like, but dude, I can't... No, that shit happened right here. They dropped a body in La Crescenta and that's where I Yeah. Oh. I can't remember what which one came first, but on the news they were talking about like whatever, the freeway strangler. And then finally they, I think they caught him and it kept happening. Like, oh, fuck. The hillside that's stranglers. It. So right. it was two, but everything was taking place basically between the two and the five. So gnarly. Yeah. So I always think about if there's like actively, if there is like some active insane serial killer shit. There's always shit. one active here. Like when's the next one going to come there's out? There's one right now doing it. They think there's one in Joshua Tree. Seriously. What, what's happening? What's going years, on? The last few years, people are fucking disappearing. Stop. Jesus. Really? Have you guys, have you watched Murder Mountain on Netflix? No. You have, yeah, right? Yeah, the weed one. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. We have a friend that was going to come on last time he was in town. We're going to bring him on that's like, that's from that. That's from Humble Mendo- County. Mendocino County. Okay. You know? But Mendo he knows Mendo. the Emerald Triangle. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, he's there. Mendocino, no, but he's like, he's like, Humboldt. oh yeah, he's like, he's in that. Gabby, whole you world. gotta watch this. It will yeah. blow you. What's it you called? The fuck. Murder, Murder Mountain. Mountain. Murder Mountain. Is it like a docu series? Yeah, yeah, but it's mind it's like a on Netflix. Part, a four part. Yeah. Oh my Netflix. god. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ever about the ganja weed? farmers. No. It doesn't matter because they're really tweakers growing weed, but motherfuckers go missing for years. It's been happening. Not not like a serial killer. Just people. Or killing motherfuckers. Yeah, because they're all up on this renegade mountain fucking growing weed and just like running their own program up there. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, and the dudes that will, will make all the craziest fucking stuff, you know, up there in Le- Leightonville's the big tweaky one, you know, where I think there was some of those dudes were from. But I remember like going up there and, um, and they would, uh, and they would like the dudes that would make the craziest stuff were just like tweakers, you know, and they're up yeah. there growing and they're making fucking concentrates and whatever. And these dudes, like, they would go up there to like all these trimmers and stuff. They go up and they'll, you know, I think they touched on it. They, they call them, yeah, they right. call them trimigrants. Yeah. Not, the trimigrants. not, not, not trimigrants. Trimigrants, yeah. bro. Yeah. And uh, it's like super hard to trim that much weed, huh? It sucks. You fucking start trimming weed. You don't realize how you, I went up there the first time. I was like, I'm going to trim and make all this money. And they'd sell you $200 a pound. I was like, I'll trim 20 pounds in a fucking day, you know? Delicious. Fuck that. I was sitting there and my homie came up to me and he said, Hey, he was like, Hey, bro, let's talk more trim. I looked at him. I was like, I'll stab you with these fucking trimming shears, you know? Yeah. You fucking come back talking to me like that. And he was like, Damn. He's like, Hey, he's like, I'm going to pay you. The same amount that I pay, I'll pay you the same price that I would be paying you to trim, but I just want you to like threaten all these kids that I get, you know? And, uh, and they would like, basically he would put up Craigslist ads where he was like, need people to do haircuts. And that was like their whole thing was like, yeah. haircuts. and these kids would like respond to it, you know? And he would go and like would blindfold him, throw him back in the back of his truck and drive around for what a while. The so hell? they wouldn't know where, where they, they were. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. otherwise they'll send people back to yeah. rob. No the cell phone. Wow. Yeah. No, you know, like literally pat them down. No, wow. cell phone, smash their phone, leave it in the fucking motel. And would bring them up there, and would they would trim, trim, trim. They'd eat like fucking like honey, fu- what, what those, those fucking things, the honey fucking honey like, gram, graham crackers. No, no, like the fucking the the honey buns. You know, they would just oh. eat honey buns and fucking ramen. <laughs> That's all they like got. Cafeteria um, yeah, food. Uh, exactly. Yeah. God 
damn. And then, uh, Honey and then buns. It's yeah. probably cold as fuck up there. Oh, there's like a freezing. microwave yeah. outside yeah. on a workbench. Yeah. Yeah. But he was, you know, he would pay like, him out. Uh, but he would pay hooked him out. up to a car battery. Totally, yeah. Oh, yeah. totally. Yeah, you, you're freezing at night, you know. But he would fucking get take care of all of it. And then I would be the dude that would, I would just literally just hang out there and drink beers and smoke joints with him. And uh, he'd be like, dude, take this. Sh-. Like that kid's being slow. Take the shotgun and go fucking tell him you'll fucking Damn. murk him if you know. And I'd come out there like fucking. What's up, homie? <laughs> hey, you know, like, and they're like, oh, sorry, I'm gonna trim you. Know, hey, homie, let's talk more trim. <laughs> trim faster. Yeah, that, 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 that comment that landed on you so fucked up, you used it. Oh, like yeah, a you got it, yeah, because right. you got me with it. Hey, right. let's talk more Dan- trim. Buddy. Danny's all wearing a, Danny's all wearing a shirt with the Slim Fast logo, but it says Trim Fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, That's so funny. Like some yeah. shit you buy in Spencer's. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that, that whole yeah. world was, I mean, it's crazy. Like, it's gotten a yeah. lot more mellower, but back then it was like all cash, you know, like it was yeah. illegal. Wild like, West it was, type it was shit. Literally the Wild West. I knew a dude yeah. from yeah. up there that would come down to the valley, like he was originally from the valley but like some weird situation like his fucking his 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 mom died and so his dad was like i'm moving up to the long time ago it, it moved up there bought a big piece of land two grow two big grows him his brother and his dad were living up there and they had these grows well he was like the only unhinged like tweak addict of the bunch but he also was like a bit of a hustler and like so they would send him down to LA in this fucking Escalade on rims with just fucking pounds and pounds of weed, you know? And so he'd pull up to the valley and he'd start doing speed right away, you know? And he'd have a pistol and, you know, he's all high and running around and getting super crazy. But yeah, that dude was out of control. Last I heard, I think he, <laughs> he, he like, I mean, he was just totally out of control. He like punched a fucking like a park ranger up there. Like he was trying to do some dirt and someone ran up on him. And so he ended up doing five years in prison. Fucking, for that's the fucking cocaine bear, dude. Yeah, seriously, that's, that's Come to life. Uh, come to life. Yeah. But he was always trying to, yeah, come up, man, come up. And I remember there was this super tweaked out Russian chick that was like, everyone was just super tired of hanging around. She's like, I'll go. <laughs> like, Bye. <laughs> Have fun. Uh. Yeah, we knew a dude up there that would any any gun you had, it didn't matter where it came from, it didn't matter if there was a serial number, bodies, bodies, on bodies that nothing. Shit. You got a pound per strap. No, no shit. Way. Yeah, a pound. And a this pound? is like a pound a when week. When it was like four grand. Uh, when this is like four, we would get and this particular fucking ganja that this dude had. I'm doing the key thing, huh? With the mic, I'm gonna, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking directly into the I'm trying to yeah. let y'all understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was like $4,800 a pound for this weed. And we would bring whatever, whatever up there to him. And he would fucking, you know, and it was like, and as many as he, he was like, I don't know what the fuck this motherfucker was trying to do. Like, he wasn't building an army, but any gun you got him, pound. 10 guns, you know. And uh, wow. I didn't have a car. Yeah, wow. and our, so our whole hustle back then was we would, um, I don't know if I ever even mentioned this. So what we would do is we would go and we would get uh, back to Craigslist. We would get on Craigslist and there was this thing called ride shares. I think it yeah. might still be on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, so but sketch. it's like, yeah. That just yeah. sounds so it's fucking so sketchy. Sketch. So we would, you know, so you go on and you're like looking for a ride. Does somebody like God, drive into, yeah. to drove, Chicago, drive into where, or like, you know, wherever fucking Oregon coming up to five. If you want to split gas and then you're like, word, I do want to split gas. But we would have five guns. Some of them maybe have bodies. Some of them might not. You know, whatever that we're taking with us, driving in this random stranger's car goes with to go up there. Kaylee to get who's going from, to University of yeah. Oregon. <laughs> so if you right. have a freshman year. And this is right. where it gets <laughs> fucked up. My homie, who I, I will not name, you know, because uh, he would maybe come after me about this uh, if I mentioned his name, would be like, okay, so if it's a, if it's a girl, we got to like, he would be like, all right, we're going to go by Rite Aid, you know, and he would get like some, just like some leggings or stockings and lipstick and we'll put it in the bag with the fucking straps and we'll put it in the trunk. Oh, so, so it was if hers. it got pulled over, yeah, I don't know. Like, that's not mine. That's not, I don't have lipstick, you know, like we never got pulled over, you know, but it was always like, yeah, it wasn't ours. I don't Scandalous. Wear yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Damn. And then even crazier, you think about coming back with all the weed because we're still fucking still ride share, ride share, ride share, or That's Greyhound. Crazy. All yeah. in the name Greyhound. of weed uh-huh. trimming. Uh-huh. This yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Greyhound's a bust. Yeah, I was in Tarzana with some dude that got fucked. He was like, buses are nasty. Dude. Yeah, I yeah. heard that. I, I've never ridden on one. But I took one home from the joint. Oh yeah, That's standard though, right? I I took one home from uh, Pelican Bay. Wait, 
Yeah. That's a long Which ride. Which is two miles south of Oregon. It's a long. 27 hours to on a bus. Ba- back to fuck? L.A.? Yeah. 27 hours. On a great on house. On a bus. I might have just walked. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, for real. The weird for thing about real. the Greyhound going through California is, especially coming from north going down, like you're picking up other convicts getting out of other prisons. Uh, uh, is like, it? Is it? Oh, a, so you're like, hey, man, what's up? And everybody's got gate money. <laughs> everybody's got a straight shooter. Oh, shit. Not, not smoke. High. No, no, I'm sorry. But like, you know, Booze, little whiskey bottles. Little whiskey yeah. and shit. What, what, how, when have you ridden the Greyhound? It's so funny. I, I, uh, I don't, have I from Fresno? Oh, oh, yeah, from Fresno Nightmare. I remember I, this wasn't the was it the ground? I don't know, but I got arrested at the Glendale Galleria for shoplifting, and I didn't have a way to get home. My friend left, so I was like, I got to figure out how to get home. And then I did find, and I had to take a bus, and I'm crying on the bus because I just got caught shoplifting, and that was a fucking. I, that's my whole big bus story. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was another time where I took a bus, and there was a woman. I remember she got onto the bus. Who she'd clearly just gotten out of the hospital, and I believe she had had her tongue removed because she had gangrene. Oh my god! And there were these two homeless guys on the bus fighting over her, and she's sitting there tongueless, just like ah. And these guys are like, "Oh, that's my fucking girl!" Oh my god! <laughs> and I just say, yeah, uh, yeah, and I was damn. like, "Wow, no, I don't ever want to ride this again." That was that was the hustle you keep your hospital fucking band on because then you can yeah, ride yeah, for yeah, free. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. No, I fucking remember that. Yeah. I did. Yeah, I went to that Olympia Medical Center one time, and wow, yeah, that's funny. Buses yeah. are fucking. All that. I see a lot of fights on public transportation. Yeah. A lot of fucking. Yeah. Crazy I remember shit. after being in Tarzana, I had like I got out and I had this this friend and we got this little place in Beverly Hills and I went back to doing what I do in fashion and I got a job downtown and I, we were living in this little apartment in Beverly Hills and until I got my license reinstated I would take like the bus out Olympic to downtown to, to, to the showroom and back and it wasn't so bad most people on that route were just like trying to go to work or trying to do this but I know if you're grinding it through Hollywood and fucking mobbing through the valley on the orange line and shit like people are people are wiling out for sure they fucking are having a dui was the worst because you, you're forced to take public transportation yeah straight up oh my god i hate public transportation in la it's so bad it's, it's rough. so rough the red line you fucking uh train people are all loaded or yeah dude i one time stopped a fucking not i was on my way back i was always in rehab taking public transportation right and you're like totally cool with it because you're like i'm out i'm yeah. like moving around you <laughs> know mm-hmm. like i'm free <laughs> i went to like i went to um riverside to go show up for a court case and my hell, mom hell lived yeah. in corona yeah like i had a warrant and shit like i think they they couldn't get support from you to like go on your own but like you know they never let you do that at cry help they're like go on your own but if you fuck this up you're out and you know the letter's null and void you know we're gonna tell the court i'm like okay cool so i took like the orange line to the red line to the fucking union station to the metro link to fucking riverside the walk to the courthouse and my mom met me downtown <clears throat> after court everything went good we got lunch and she took me to get some you know whenever you're in treatment mom comes and blesses you with a trip to like cvs so it's like razors and pomade and all this shit you know and i got all the snacks and shit so i had all that yeah and it cry help you have your little locker for your snacks you know what i mean so i'm going back to fucking cry help from riverside that exact way i just described metro link to union station to the red line to the fucking whatever with these giant bags of stuff and we're on the train and this dude from like i guess he they started talking shit to each other came out later he was from like dc this like gangster dude and then these dudes from like hoover were like on the train and they were like beefing and this one dude who like clearly just gotten out he like took his fucking shirt off (laughs) he had like a wife beater on he's like fucking about to take off on this dude and there's all these people and it was two dudes big buff dude a little wiry like mouthpiece guy and a a woman gangster crew from hoover and they were like kind of trying to get at this other dude and it was like rush hour and there's all these people and this like 
I mean, I'm just going to say it because he was like, you know, <laughs> this gay dude was like, nobody wants to hear this shit, man, like in their face, you know? And like instantly the chick stepped up. And she's like, mind your fucking business, homie. <laughs> and like, he was like iPodded, like, you know, just coming from work from downtown back to Hollywood or something. So he quickly like crept back into the thing and they started scrapping and everybody kind of jumped up on their seats to get out of the way. And that's when big homie like took his shirt off, like I said. And he he took something out of his pocket and there was like a, a little Russian like grandmother and like these other people and I just set the bags down and I jumped up and I go, hey dude, whatever you're thinking about doing right now, don't do it, man. There's a lot of fucking people on here right now. I thought he had a knife mm -hmm. and I was just like, I don't know where I got the fucking nerve. But he just kind of backed up for a minute and then the dude jumped off and they were like, let's just get him out there. And he like got off the train. And then when I got to my stop, the little grandmother came up and gave me a kiss on the cheek yeah. as I was getting off the train. Yeah. And they get off the train, everybody starts yeah. clapping. Yeah. 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 With his I snacks. Just, I was just like, cool. Like, yeah, man, whatever you're thinking about doing right now, just fucking the You de-escalated. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. We didn't know you I'm were a diplomat. A you're a superhero. You're a, diplomat. You're a yeah. fucking <laughs> superhero. Yeah. And you got a kiss in yeah. the end. Yeah. I mean, it was very sweet. Wow. Very sweet. Oh. That shit goes a long way when you're in rehab with about 12 days clean. Oh yeah, yeah. just coming from getting your court case scrubbed. You're they like, don't, hey, they don't call him to live. They don't call him bad boy Riri for nothing. No. <laughs> uh. Bad boys, bad boys, uh. bad boy Riri, uh. bad boy Riri. Wow. <laughs> I was like, that's what she should get on Instagram. It was taken right. Bad I didn't boy try. Riri. Did I didn't try. Bad boy Riri. Well, because the you know I basically like I am a little bit shook about promoting the podcast because I work for a big company and like oh, that makes sense. Okay. I love the pod I love my peoples and like you, you know, know podcasts get, can get in trouble I just you know like I mean yeah. yeah so they're like you should start an Instagram to kind of like promote the pod a little bit bad boy Reno <laughs> Reno squats the piss is what he's getting at <laughs> <laughs> nah but you know what look I, you know hey it's... we love you Reno thank yeah. you because yeah. yeah. I love yeah, my Reno. job I love my company I love the people I work <laughs> with you and are... I wouldn't want anybody to be offended you know what I mean and you know I respect that I've come to terms with the fact that I will always lose jobs over what I do, and that's that, that's why I have to make it my full job is podcasting because so I can't. So basically, you're saying just grow some balls is what. So I basically, do, right? fuck you. <laughs> you're a pussy. All this fuck what yeah, you're so about. Ba yeah. yeah, basically, you're a fucking pussy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, and that's that. Listen to tea time. Listen to tea time. You can find tea time wherever you listen to podcasts. Weeks. Yeah, you sure can. In two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Gabby has a Pamela Anderson screensaver on her phone. I do. Okay. I have no upcoming shows. I won't know. I'm on the road right now with Felipe Esparza. So usually whatever his dates are, I'm with him. Um, my, I had to start a new Instagram account. So if you want to follow me there. Yeah. What's the new one? Gabby Lammy 69. Yeah, it just oh. came up. I just typed in Gabby and it came up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's my new account. Yeah. Damn. Person. This is Gabby. <laughs> 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 69. And that's a new account. You can find me there. Everything I post gets, I'm, all of my accounts are getting deleted. It happens when you're too real. Yeah. That's right. That's I mean, right. I keep, you're like, that's, that keeps it real. That's right. That keeps it real. Yeah. <laughs> Thank and I'm you never so going much stop. for coming, Gabby. Yeah. You guys, We're this stoked. was a blast. Yeah. Thank you. Can't wait for the live show, even Thank though it already for, yeah. happened. Thank you for, yeah, becoming yeah. again, coming back on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> follow what her. a treat. Uh, and, and, and follow her podcast, Tea Time with Gabby. Yeah, listen to Tea Time. Tea Time is a good, yeah, start there. It's fucking epic. Yeah. Thank you.